It's a yak. Welcome in. Roback.com promo code yak for 20% off your first purchase. Q-zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts. Roback.com promo code yak. What's up, boys? What's up, guys? Feeling good. Wait, hold on. Steven, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, Steven. What? You have a job every day. This is an everyday thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to learn today. Oh, what? yeah. I'm so glad Za has a mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, look at the new Chicago Yak shirts are out. And those are completely original. Black yeah. Friday. Those Black Friday are going to be out. Oh. Look at Spider with well, his you can gloves still show on. It. Pretty good play on work. Get over there. here, Spider. Spider's working. Spider's working right now. We got a we got a sales meeting tonight. That's why you see some of these. Look at this spider damn. Put on the damn, oh, damn yeah. spider. Why why is it that all the the barbecue guys wear those black gloves? Oh man, because barbecue is very hot. But the videos have also gotten sexual right. as well. And you need when the black slap gloves. The meat, yeah, and, and it, it slides off cut the, the You bone. cut the brisket yeah. and then like show it to the camera and give it a little squeeze. Yeah, a little yeah. squeeze. Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Did you guys yeah. see the the guy trying to be super sexy making pe- uh, making donuts? No. Oh, it'll, oh. Yeah. oh, I want to see this. Sounds good. I no. just oh. popped in my head. We should do a, uh, in the new kitchen, we should do a video a cooking series where we all just have like random cuts on our fingers and are just like slowly bleeding while we, <laughs> while we like touch the meat. Uh, it's getting everywhere. And just yeah. never mention it. That's like, Frank the Tank's cooks. thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Already, the yeah. yak cooks. Just touch raw chicken and then... T- you like a clear <laughs> infection you have on your hand. <laughs> He's getting impatient. Yeah, go. Go. What's the time to yeah. beat? What's the time to beat? 30... I think his best time was 32 well, seconds. Time but what's the... the I mean, what's the record? Mince is 31. Yeah, Mince is 31. It yeah. looks like a high school dance out there. With this yeah, it setup. does. Yeah. Yeah, go. Why is I'll, he so I'll say three, two, one, go. You have to PR. This is, by the way, going to be an everyday confusion thing for mm-hmm. him. Yeah. <laughs> what, right. dude? Three, two, one, go. Oh, a slow start. What, oh, is, no. start. what is this? He's barely even moving. What's he doing? He's so fundamental. It does look like he's going faster. Oh, what, is, Whoa, that? what is that? Oh. oh. I don't know what that is. We have oh. that kind of tech? Wait. Yeah, that looks like we're going to take him down with a missile. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like about a chopper train with that. Yeah. chopper gun around him. Yeah, Can somebody play some CCR? Yeah, enemy AC-130 above. <laughs> oh, in, that's a little too We're in Guadalcanal right now. <laughs> oh, my God. tired there at the end. He's just so loud. That's a good time. PR. No. PR. PR. Yeah. Okay, Connor. Do I it. just like torturing him. Where How we just is he so Make slow? him do it. It looks it extremely it, slow. I don't want to talk yet before I potentially do you'll it. Never have it to lo- do it, it looks horrible. Kyle, you'll never have He to looks do that. pathetic. Yeah. He's moving, I think. I think it looks slow, but he's moving. Uh, yeah. He's got long strides. Yeah. PR. PR. Yeah, 30s. Mm-hmm. Give us the celebration. 30.21. 30. 30. 30. Give us a celebration. You actually beat Mets, too. Oh! oh <laughs> that time you actually look good. Yeah. 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 You, need one of, you need one of those barbecue gloves when you do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For the celebration. <laughs> yeah, like a beret. <laughs> Get on the mic. We got to talk about this. Uh, TJ, I sent you the sexy donut guy. Oh, I'm excited. There's a whole subgenre of cooking TikTok now where it's like guys like fucking the food. This guy's <laughs> this guy's like like made what? the donuts look like ass. Yeah, an ass, and he like they're sniffs making up love the crack. to their shit. Yeah, it's they're like the they'll worst crack thing an ever. egg and like finger it. It's yeah. so, oh. it's bizarre. TJ, uh, that's pretty much what I sent you. I'd like yeah. to opt out. No, it's it's too late now. Okay. Oh, I I, I texted what's, what's you. What's that? Oh. TJ. TJ's DMs. Oh, oh, oh. nice pussy. <laughs> <laughs> TJ, what's what? that DM to Tiffany you. Gomez That's saying? That's depraved, it's horny voice. Why is White Sox Day? Oh, 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 <laughs> oh no! Look at this what guy. Ima- oh, imagine shit. making this. <laughs> oh, this is pretty overt. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God! What is he thinking? I mean, there are housewives oh. that are soaking wet right now. Yeah, yeah. the production quality is terrific. I think Pumpkin he, Poppy? He just ate the pussy too quickly. <laughs> yeah. Just, <laughs> just, oh, he's oh, slapping it. Oh, vanquished <laughs> any subtlety. Oh, <laughs> yeah. there was no food in that one. <laughs> and he doesn't eat donuts. No, no shot. Would you let me go? Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you're proven wrong. Let me cook for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mook, you got to try this when you have a queen over. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down. I'm going to cook for you. <laughs> oh. I'm going to fill up this donut. See, we laugh, but we could you never up. replicate that. Oh, I could. You think you could? Yeah. People try. will think they want to puke in their mouth, but I could replicate that. What is, is he beloved? I don't know. How many followers does he have? I saw it on Twitter, not on TikTok. Oh, man. That was... Play TJ, it. you said Play that's a again. thing. There's just there's there are there's, more I've, of these guys. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking f- horny, horny chefs on TikTok. It's impossible to keep up well, with the trends. The, but this is we, we talked about the horny. Uh, I guess he wasn't quite as bad as that guy, but the lumberjack guy too. It's just oh. like like dudes doing things, yeah, but trying to fuck while they're doing them or something. Like what is <laughs> guys doing average things but trying to? But, but they're they're getting sexual, reinforced yeah. by this behavior times a, a million. Yeah, mm-hmm. we should just make podcasting sexy. Yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, grunt. Oh, yeah, Titus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brandon, can you fit that whole mic in your mouth? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Deep throat the mic. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You care if I do an ad read? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't need a. I might need you. to see more videos of this guy. <laughs> I'm going to break out the oversized lawn games. You stay there, play with your pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see a fat guy in a little car? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> fat guy struggled to get out of a little get- car. That's <laughs> <laughs> where you on, baby. <laughs> Get you hot? Let me edit this clip and you'll get a nice fat cream pie. (laughs) I got a 5'4 guy that calls himself a golf pro. (laughs) He'll get you tea time. (laughs) Go ahead, take your shoes off. (laughs) Ugh. While I spin the wheel, I need you to come three times. <laughs> <laughs> Put our dick in a mouth trap. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna land on wood. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Wait, this is fun. It's like yeah. this is probably the least sexy format of media. <laughs> 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 oh fuck. We should make Chef Donnie walk around naked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, I thought we. Well, you said that. April, was a, you delivered that like it was a yeah. response to something, and that was also yeah. a definite. There yeah, was definite you're right. We should do that. Yeah. That's right. There was definitely like a sigh, end of riff, and then you went. Like we weren't still yeah. in yeah. sexy yeah. zone. Yeah, no, you said that like it was you the next we, logical. That was yeah. the start of a new conversation. conversation. By the you, way, uh, <laughs> stressed and emphasized the word "should" as if we were just a also. Saying. I mean, look, we're trying to get the numbies up. I mean, let's. We get a should sexy have chef, chef Donnie yeah. walk around. Yeah, you know what? We whoa, should. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we should do that. Good idea. <laughs> Mook. It's a little too much on, talking man. there. Right. <laughs> I thought up. we were riffing, guys. <laughs> Fired up. There was a, there was a definite end to the yeah, riff. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. We could we could ask him. We'll talk to him. See if he's down. I'll hit him up. Yeah. Hit him up. Hey, ever think about wearing nothing? Just an apron. <laughs> no, oh, he God. is. Uh, Donnie is into that lifestyle. What do you mean? There's a bathhouse in Chicago, which I previously okay. had been meaning to go to, and they just do the red the, square. They do the cold plunge nude. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the. Li- he said it's not an, a requirement. Like you can opt out of being nude, but he did it. Oh, and like the other five guys did as well. Why would you a cold plunge? The, that exactly. was the worst one. Exactly. It feels. But like- if everybody else is nude, you, you, it's almost more embarrassing to be trunked. Right. That's the stigma. That's like the fat guy in the pool version. Yeah, with that. the shirt. Yeah, with the shirt on, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the you're same just, thing. But what is it? Calling hu- attention to. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure there's a giant dick behind yeah. those trunks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but what does a giant limpy look after being immersed giant in. Limpy? A giant I bet freezing limpy? cold. I bet, you, Wait, I bet so- you a giant limpy would look the same as like a stout. Like, See, I uh, disagree. I think everything you becomes more? even Did when you, you go. I agree. When I you get freezing cold. Did yeah. you just come up with the a new phrase like "fat fat colossals"? Was that your, was a good one? That, giant, but limpy. giant limpy. I don't think it's gonna stick. <laughs> 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 
Giant lippy kind of has... A giant lippy um, like Wait, exposed said... to freezing cold temperatures giant underwater. I bet you... What would it look like? I bet you all of our dicks would be lippy. exactly the same afterwards. I think, yeah, I think it's... Uh, what is? So what you're saying is the if phenomenal. it's a giant lippy and just normal lippies, when the freezing cold comes in, they all look the same. They all regress to, to, to the They all regress to baby. Same lippy. Time. Baby <laughs> You don't think any of the residual giant of the giant limpy stays? I think it completely, yeah. I think it's But a, I would argue with the giant limpy when he was a baby had a giant baby limpy. Oh, oh this I don't, like, don't no, want to no. discuss that. Yeah, that's weird, Brandon. <laughs> that's weird. No. Uh, so yeah, th- this, yeah, Chef Donnie should do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is weirdly philosophical where it's like, you know, we all we all are born the same way, die the same, you know, mm-hmm. we all die. You put a giant limpy in cold water, we all become baby limpy. We all yeah, yeah. I think it's just a head, right? Yeah. I think it's just a head. It's just a head. No matter so how I think big girth guys is, have it the best in this situation. I, no, because I bet you that looks even funnier. It's chode. One yeah, fat you become head. A chode. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, girth would be <laughs> yeah, like a kid's bedroom wall. <laughs> <laughs> all our limpies Tim become Tebow. the same. <laughs> Something to think about. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I don't know. It I, absolutely is something to think about. I, don't think I never thought dick. about giant limpies before today. <laughs> yeah, in a f- cold plunge. Yeah, you get. You know what I'm saying. Right? I know exactly what you're saying. Is He's Chef like Donnie here? Where yeah, does it all? He's been here. Where does all the dick go? It goes into your body. Yeah, I guess. Resort. Which is gay. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, fucking yourself. You're getting... oh. <laughs> I, be, I won't ever be cold again. <laughs> Miss me with that. Yeah, yeah, like a Vikings that. coming with like a loincloth. I'm like, yo, pause. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to kill all. <laughs> oh, these guys are gay. Nick's been taking it up his penis for years now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm always long johned up. So straight. You got long johns on? No, not right now. Long johns are cheat code in winter. Yeah. I feel like you could conquer anything. Mostly just winter. But you have to yeah. time it right. If you wear it on the, if you wear it for the first time on a day that's a little too warm, it just ruins your whole day. Yeah, that's true. Ruins your whole day. But yeah, going to a tailgate with long johns on. Yeah, no one can touch me. Mm-hmm. I think it could stop a bullet. Oh yeah, and it, it adds just a nice little girth to the legs, so mm-hmm. you don't get made fun of. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is a thing that guys worry about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, all right, so TJ, what do we have tomorrow? We have a big day tomorrow. I Barcelona know, Invitational, we, big day tomorrow. Well, yeah, Barcelona Invitational is huge. Yeah, what do we what do we have to do tomorrow? We're doing. Are we allowed to say? Are we not allowed to say? I don't know. It's a new ad, ad advertiser. Tomorrow's gonna be a great show. Yeah, Roan is here. We're tomorrow. playing video games on the Let's show tomorrow. Go. Playing video games. We also um, we have I have new coffee blends for Stella Blue Coffee, which maybe we'll do that on Friday because we have so much going on tomorrow. But my idea is we will do so. We have a yak flavored coffee i'm not gonna say what the flavor is because we're gonna announce that tomorrow we have a yak holiday flavored coffee i had two this morning really they're so good yes so uh what we'll do maybe friday is we will do like a live almost telethon where every i don't know 500 or thousand dollars in sales everyone here will get a half court shot and anyone who makes a half court shot will get like 500 bucks cash i'm gonna give out cash yes yeah Yeah. i like that that would be fun (laughs) I so like make sure you come in on Friday. I love that. Really <laughs> yeah. Well, it's yeah. yak coffee, so it's going to sell, and I wanted to make sure that everyone was involved in it and got benefit of it. So you do as long as you are able to make a half-court shot. Mm-hmm. Simple as that. Yeah. It's just a simple half-court shot. I'm excited for this evening. I'm going to schmooze so hard. Yeah, we got the big uh, big sales. This is like a, a cocktail event? Mm, I don't know exactly. All I know is... I had to have a one-on-one talk with Nikki Smokes today. And I was like, no dumping sack talk, mm-hmm. no bitches, like just. I do feel like some relax. bitches. Some I, bitches. No bitch talk. I do feel like your all the company-wide emails that get sent, all the the all hands on deck meeting, meetings we've had, they could have all just been solved by talking to Nikki Smokes. Like <laughs> I feel like you and Hank yeah. and and whoever mm-hmm. else are just. Yeah. You're talking solely to Nikki Smokes. There's other ones that we're talking to. It's more. <laughs> I sent out a. Uh, company email uh for the whole chicago office just being like hey we have salespeople coming like this is how we have our job yeah and i know, I know, I know that i that's, it that's, sounds very straightforward but you would be surprised some people don't under, always grasp that concept that like they pay us to have a dream job yeah, yeah. we need to be good with I, them and not talk about dumping sacks smokes asked me to pregame it 
Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be in the. <laughs> he's gonna be playing cornhole out in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're tailgating a it. A little brat on the on the fire. <laughs> like, what's up, guys? We'll be in in a minute. We we won't miss opening kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna pull you aside at some point tonight and be like, "There are no bitches at this thing. Yeah, oh, bitches. Where are the bitches? Should man? I call some bitches <laughs> up?" He's just gonna go start a fight with the talkies rep. (laughs) (laughs) This ratio is ass. Yeah, I actually probably should have sent out an email to the sales team, being like, "Can we just make sure that everyone doesn't mention the Dolphins being frauds? Because that could be a combustible situation." Is Fleming still in town? Oh yeah, Fleming's here. He's he's been having the time of his life. But wasn't he going to Milwaukee today? Oh, he's going to Spreckers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's going to Spreckers. Well, she's oh. probably there now. I guess he could be back tonight. That video of him on full yeah. send. That was amazing. Oh, can send. we play that? Was, did Quiggs do that? Who did that? I had to have that been. That was real. Been DJ, he's okay. a, a Quiggs DJ? disciple. DJ? DJ? Quiggs has a disciple. That's, who is this? Quiggs the, uh, disciple. Big shout out to him. He's what's the his World name? Cup guy, right? Or no? DJ. DJ. Wait, does he work for us? Yes. And what's his last name? Johnson, I think. DJ Johnson. Huh. Oh, he made the... That uh, sounds like a fake name. There was. DJ Johnson. As soon as y'all sent it, I did think... I thought it was real for just a split second. Sure. So did yeah, I. there was other people who yeah. thought that as well. Yeah. Um, wait, what was that guy's name? The the baseball player, Will Sparks. Yes. yes. Will Sparks. That guy's awesome. DJ Johnson. Oh, we, we have, have a ball rack now. We have a ball rack. Brandon, Mike, oh. take, take a couple the threes. Most excited you've been for everything. Mike, take a couple threes. You're live. Mike, you have to. You have to do a three. Mike, you have to. Hit a, hit a three, Mike. Hit a three, Mike. Yes. You did a good job. Hit a three. Uh, he's a wrestler build. He's going to yeah. whip Yeah, Mike's shot so could yeah. be bad. Oh, no. Oh, he no. Could, he well, could shoot a basketball. Be a three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah got to be a three. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, he's stepping running into it. Oh, no. Wait. Oh. Ah. That's pretty good. Keep going. That's best case scenario, other than making it. There it is. Yep. No, oh. this is this. This would be funny if it took like an entire hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, no, oh, no, no, no. And what? No, 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 Keep no, going. no, 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 no. You can't leave on a and, miss. Yeah, and what, how it. many misses be, does it become funny? Ten? I think yeah, but funny starts. No, ten's oh. easy. Oh. Ten's easy. See, you wanted to quit. Yeah, he wanted to quit. Hello. A lot of people buzzing around. A lot of people buzzing around. That's a good quality game. Shooting threes is the best. It is it's the just best. like placing four leg parlays. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should have the same amount of hope and the same <laughs> amount of letdown. Do you want to talk about the Jets real quick? I hedge, brother. Oh, I made, <laughs> I made a lot of money. <laughs> oh, my biggest payday yet. <laughs> Wait, really? Last for, night? for a prime time game? Did you go? Did you get golden <laughs> right. back? I slid the toggle. I made them minus ten and a half. You went the Chargers? Short. No, I did minus six and a half. Oh, hell yes. Parlayed uh, the spread and uh, points under, obviously. Wilson under points, under yards. Wow. Well, what? Yeah. Were you browsing menus? It wasn't like that. No. I was doing simple bets because I ran out of my big bankroll. Yeah. Damn. Wait, I feel like... I'm just like surviving now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every week is a war. Yeah. Ship yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah, you wanna, it's a blast. You want to get into some college basketball? Don't. I bet 23 games nah, last yeah, time. I see you. Yeah, what the f- people are winning on college basketball. Dude, it's college basketball. If you can, if you're, if you can get to it fast, it is one of the softest markets. It seems like it's so unpredictable. Oh, it, it, you're betting like on 18 year olds, D two teams. Oh yeah, but it cuts both then, ways. It's unpredictable for Vegas too. Yeah, don't know, that's where that's what's it's soft. Right. They can't figure out the lines. There's days when there's like a hundred games on. There's. They can't get them all as sharp as that. Last know, night, Michigan games. State favored by 16 and a half. They lose at home. Did Kentucky you? favored by 14 and a half. They win by 40. See? You just do never you touch know. this? You just, do you? No, but I, I speak the language. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like, so I, I, you, kn- I know what's going on. You watch mm-hmm. every game? Every Literally game. every single game, yeah. Damn. Yeah, every one. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it, it gets it gets pretty exhausting this time of year, but uh, you got to do it, man. You got to grind the tape. So, yeah. <laughs> you're uh, you're a gym I, rat. Yeah. That's I walked in this morning. I'm here and, for. Um, che was watching the All 22 of the Bucks, and I, I saw him, and he was at his laptop, and he was giggling. He was going <laughs> really laughing at what he saw. I said, "What are you watching?" He said, "I'm watching Bucks tape." I don't know what he was laughing at on Bucks tape. He was grinding film, and it was very very. What was entertaining to you? I don't even remember the exact play, to be honest. Okay. But, uh, a they're, football they're a, play made you laugh? 
Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if a guy gets, if a guy gets knocked over. You can see where that's blocking. startling, right? By the way, I didn't tell you this, Jay, but um, we I have a guest coming in in an hour who's going to come on PMT, a friend of mine, Sam Schwartzstein, who works for oh, Amazon. Oh, my guy, yeah. No, that's his guy. I had an hour conversation with him a week that's ago. His guy. That's his guy. That's an extraordinarily long conversation. That's his guy. An hour long conversation He's with him? He's my guy. Not anymore. <laughs> When's the last time you had an hour long conversation with him? He is... Uh, Exactly. Sounds like this I interview. With him a sounds few. like this interview's got to be an hour and one minute. At yeah. Least. yeah. <laughs> uh, but either way, I'm gonna have him come stop in the yak because he is. So he played offensive line for Andrew Luck at Stanford. Works for Amazon Prime. Does the um, the alternate feed with like all the analytics and stuff. And he might be the number one Data Day fan on earth. Whoa. Yeah. Like he gets so excited for Data Day. Oh man. Um, and just chase <laughs> wrong opinions yeah. and everything. So it would be funny to see, like, a real football guy just interacting with Che. Brother, he called me last week. Don't, don't, don't. Last brother, week. He, and he, he, what? He, he, wanted, he, wanted, <laughs> he wanted insight on the box. We talk schemes. Come on, brother. Don't you ever brother me again. I mean, we're running out of things I can call people now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Once you break 30 on the suicide, you're going to be letting it fly. <laughs> <laughs> and are you wearing a suit jacket? Wait, yeah. Were you talking shit on us to Dave? Not directly. Wait, but, oh, we wait, caught what? you. You were saying I'm the only one that dressed up. We were downstairs hacky sacking. You were up there talking to Dave, and you said, I'm top five dressed today. I said I was in the top 25% of best dressed today. <laughs> My or bad. Most, no, sorry. Most stressed up. <laughs> top dressed 25%? Up. He was talking yeah. shit. You did, the, you did the math already? You're wearing Jordans and a t-shirt, Jay. <laughs> and your own hat. Also, I can pretty much see your balls, Titus. I... <laughs> 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 I love uh, he he was he that like, wasn't even dude, a joke. He, he like he like raised Jay up. He raised up to see. <laughs> Jay owns your ass, Titus. Like I, know, I literally know he like, did. I'm just trying to like jog collar I, walking I don't you around. Fully understand. He could have just said that, but he ra he looked up to see if he could see your balls. Andy raised his Andy raised his voice. These are I'll have you know I, these I are uh, pretty much see your balls, Titus. <laughs> these are rowback joggers I'm wearing, Chase. Oh, so you want to go ahead and walk that back? Yeah, walk they're great pants, but yeah. you're you got them hiked up pretty high. Yeah, uh, <laughs> think about sizing up, brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, you got a brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, no, 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 he has to be stopped. He has to be stopped. Jay, these chairs you slide around. I'm sliding down. <laughs> yeah, the, he's got a point is, there. This is a this is a common this is common knowledge. So Jay, you narked on us to Dave? Yep. No, Dave. Dave said I. He didn't I, want us to hear. He's like, why why are you dressed up? Or no, he said, or he said, why are you wearing a suit jacket? I said, well, we got clients and coming in today. I wanted to dress up. And he said, you're not dressed up. And I said, yes, I am. Like, take a look around. Uh, throws who's, under who's, the bus. That's totally throwing us. Yep. I went on on the record. I am as most dressed up as I get. I have a change of clothes in the car. I'm not wearing sweatpants. I'm wearing that a suit. That means more up. dressed up than that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have a collared shirt and and not sweatpants. That's dressed up. That you're making my point. What? Uh, what is your point? No, but you don't. That count, I'm dressed up. No, but you count me in the seventy-five percent. You're more dressed up than me. You think? Uh not necessarily. I mean, yeah. This for you. This is this is this is your dressed up. I. This is my dressed up. He he narked on us. Yeah. How many people do you think are here? A hundred? Fifty? No. I wonder, oh. if, I wonder if he's in the top 25 of best, top 25 percent of best dressed up. Uh, Not even close. It's just a suit jacket over a t-shirt. I'm going to go. Can yeah, I go, go around? Go. Let's see if I can find people Count. better dressed than yeah, yeah. Yes. Count the people. Yeah. And wait. Go yeah. spike him. Spike him. Yes. And if there is, if Che was wrong, he has to go correct himself to Dave and say, I'm actually in the top 30. I think if you can find, if you can find. Who? Page. 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 Her name's up, Page. Uh, She's here every day. She's the office manager. Yeah, she speaks a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta try to evade her. Yeah. Brandon so, doesn't see her as someone that you need to I learn to say evade her. What? Never mind. All right, Brandon. If I think Stephen, if he can find eight people more dressed up than you, I don't think you're in the twenty-five percent. Fair. You think Steven, there's thirty-two what? people here? Ten people. Eight. Sure. Ten people. You gotta find sure. ten. You gotta find it. ten. Stephen, what's on legs? I what's on feet? Should, yeah, we should spot. I think Jake Marsh might come be dressed in. up. Yeah. No, no, we're gonna zoom it. We're gonna zoom it. He's gonna do. He's gonna do spy cam. Brand uh, suit jacket, branded stuff, t-shirts. That's not dressed That's up. That's a t-shirt. Chicago up. yaks. Suit jacket, jeans. Jeans. I got nice shoes on. Jordan. Jordan. No, those are. That's not dressed up. I, I'm. I am dressed up for this office. I'm not like 
you know, on Wall Street, but I'm, it, I'm dressed it, up. It's more like you're playing dress up. You have a suit jacket over <laughs> gym clothes. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. <laughs> Never mind. I can't. I can't, nobody, I can't he's undefeated. Uh, yeah. He's undefeated. This is I'm actually what you dress flag. down to I'm when you leave the, the office. Yes. Yeah. Godspeed to you fellas. You I'm done? Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm I'm checking out of this one. I mean, I'm listen, done. the guy is, he can't be <laughs> Good beat. luck. Can't I'm, be I'm beat. cheering for you from the sidelines for the record, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I'm going to have to oh, tap out of this He got you yesterday. Him and Frank no, he owns you. He owns you. He owns. Is this stupid? Is this stupid? What? Are we going to do this? What do you mean? This is stupid. Of course it's stupid. Why is it Hey, dude, everything's stupid with him. Why is it stupid? What are you doing? Brandon, 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 come here. Come here. Che's gonna follow him. The thing him. is, the thing is this. You could find fifty thousand fucking people in this office that are better dressed than him. You bring them all in here, and he's gonna look at them and just go, <laughs> Yeah. And then W and then W and throw a fist up. And Brother, yeah. I got you beat. Yeah, brother, I I see your balls. Yeah. <laughs> I see your vagina. It's stupid. Wait, we're not doing it? I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah, do just, it. Okay. He's, TJ's going to send you the link. Right. I would like to point out I'm wearing client pants today. I, this is the first time I've worn pants. Those are nice pants. Are, yeah. yeah, good Thank job. You. I appreciate it. Client pants. Dave, Carl? I told Dave I'm better dressed than him. Carl's, Carl's better Carl, dressed. Carl's better. Carl, come here. Carl's Carl, better Carl's dressed. Better dressed. Carl's better Carl, dressed. Carl, come here. There's one. We found ha! one. That's one. Carl's dressed like a, uh, he's even got a college fanny pack. campus slack liner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he looks like he's like uh, some some weird. Show us, show us what you're wearing. <laughs> are those wearing? reverse socks? <laughs> yeah. Wait, turn around, around, turn around. <laughs> the socks are going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, you got your socks on upside down. <laughs> Carl, looks, so where's your... Carl looks like you, you pay him like $30,000 to go to like some camp called Outer Limits. <laughs> In yeah. Colorado, where he teaches you like to do something yeah. really scary. Do you have a it's beer like, flight I, to purchase. Yeah, it's like a t it's taste testing. I just hope you can find it. Oh, Prescott tried to buy this off. Of you. What? Dak Prescott tried to buy that off right, of we you. We got one. Wait, we, got we got two. two. That's two. Oh yeah, better dressed. One. Yeah. Is this two? That's two. That's Carl two. is one. Carl's one. That's two. Page. Carl's Page. dressed like he's sizing people for ski boots. Three. Two. Three. three. Yep. Three. Jerry is not. Don't go towards Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Jerry's Jerry is, covered in gunk. <laughs> Jerry did he is, tell you, did he, he, he covered in gunk. What do you mean? He's, he doesn't know where it came from. He's covered in gunk. <laughs> what? Yeah. And he got out a Tide pen for a lot of gunk. He just got gunk everywhere? Yeah. yeah you don't want gunk. I'd oh, rather have gunk Brandon. than crud. I think I'd rather have crud than gunk. <laughs> no. <laughs> White Sox gunk Dave, implies no. volume and stickiness. <laughs> crud implies smell. Yeah, gunk is doesn't smell bad, but no, gunk is just like weird. Like, but well, gunk is gonna gunk stick to you in mass. Yeah. Gunk, yeah. you, you got to get rid of your clothes. I think you can wash crud off. Crud is dry. I believe. Brandon just oh, crud is all yeah, crud is flaky yeah. almost. <laughs> Brandon, where are you going? It's the same. I don't Brandon, think he gets Steven the layout yet. Witness. No, he's lost. All right, we got three right now. You know he's moving slow from yesterday. Well, yep. Yep. Four, oh yeah. Four. Maggie. Four. four. Yep. Damn. Whoa. Yep. Better suit jacket. Definitely. Four. Go upstairs, Brandon. And then I need I need Che to spy cam to apologize today for lying to him. Yes. Mm. If it's calculated. Elevator. Elevator to go <laughs> Brandon. Pop Pop's legs are sore. Oh, Brandon. Oh, oh, and Jack's in the elevator right in front of him. Jack always has energy to take the stairs. He does. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Is Brandon, oh. is Brandon roughhousing? Oh, by Jack the way. Jack dropped his oh, Whose phone yeah, is that? Oh, he's got Joe and Joe's, Joe's, yeah, Joe is five. Joe is five. Joe's five. The um, Jerry is, uh, I'm getting him to buy a, a little desk that he sits outside the golf simulator and like a r valet rope. That's so good. For, yeah. For tea times. All I, right. I played today. You did? Yeah. How many? All right, this is this is six. Four holes. Nice. What room is this? This is a conference room. Six. Six. Yep. Six. Yep. Six. So, these poor people are like, what is going on? Oh no. No. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. No. 
Wait a minute, Brandon. Brandon, we can't just go up to people and say like six or five. Yeah, that's oh, really yeah, funny. That's Brandon, go back and apologize. <laughs> you just said we it does kind of look like we walked in the corner of six. Six. It does kind of look like this. Brandon, video. you have to go back. Go apologize. Just apologize. Be like, you're a six Brandon. person. You're not a six. It does kind of look like he's just counting Which the women. Which isn't yeah. isn't an insult. Six is as grossly <laughs> oh. underestimated. Yeah, we're fucked. He's pointing at people. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Seven. No, Sweater. Easy. Seven. Yes. seven. Nice. Brandon, tell him seven. <laughs> tell, say he's a seven. Yeah. Say he's seven. Seven. Who's seven? <laughs> he's a seven. He's on the phone over there. I'm not passing, but he's on the phone. Who's that? Meeks. Meeks. Okay. This is good. No. No, Sofsky. Oh, no. Steve is going to be dead on. No. Sofsky's wearing a Cosby sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Did he count it as eight? I don't know. Oh, no. Meeks is eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me, oh, yeah. Uh, looks way better. Meeks will be. Eight. Yep. I'll, I'll, eight. I'll eight. give you Meeks. All right, keep oh. going? Yeah, keep yes. going. Go to the content side. Uh, probably shouldn't go to the yeah. content <laughs> side. In my Good job, Brandon. Brandon went, oh. Did you just flip off? Corey. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Smutledge. Keep him in his place. Oh, uh, no. 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 What was that room? No, that room. I don't know what that room is. I've never seen that room. Oh, those, we're hearing that those are not Barcelona employees. Oh. Oh, okay. Google City guys, they're up. Okay, here we go, here okay. we go. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Jake. Nine. Jake I knew nine. Jake would come through. Yep. Yep. Look at Jake. Oh, he looks oh, great. Oh, close. Very no, close. No, not no, even close. close. Kak is wearing a dress shirt. There's a pull-up. Yes. Jake is 100% better dressed. Hard yes. Hard yes. He's wearing a t-shirt. Yeah. I'm wearing khaki pants. Yes. Yes, Jake. So is that a yes? Yes. 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 Nine. One more. Uh-oh. This is where it's going to get tough. What's who's he looking at? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Oh, wait Big a minute. Tea. Big T. Big T. I bet you out of nowhere. <laughs> no. I. No. What are the pants? What are the pants? He's got jeans on. Uh, it's close. Uh, in his it ain't. Oh no. Yeah, he thinks he's dressed. Yeah, I'm wearing a polo and a very nice. Tell him to take. Yeah. The wait, wait. Oh, polo. Big T's like wait, he has angry. a polo underneath. I like that. Big T's got some fire. Yeah. Always does. No. So we're right at, how many we got? Nine. Nine yeah, check the ba- check the downstairs back. Yeah, you're right. We got we got more. Yeah. <laughs> this is okay, a, I hope you're ready to this apologize. This is so funny, just walking around, <laughs> just saying numbers to people. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Che, you better you got to go up to Dave and say I was wrong. Wait, Brandon, tell her tell tell her, like lunch? tell her it was because she's dressed up. Tell her it was because she was dressed up, Brandon. Nope. No. She's they Tell you she was a six because she's dressed up, not because she's actually a six. Go <laughs> 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 back, Brandon. Brandon it, con- it conveyed that she was a six. Go no, back. turn around, Brandon. Go back. He's Brandon. going down to take the elevator. Go back. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, it really conveyed. <laughs> six, hard yes. Hard yes. <laughs> yeah. Megan. Oh yeah, Megan. All right, so that's ten. We can run up the score. Ten. Yep. Yeah, Megan is de- is one hundred percent dressed up nicer than Shay. Ten. 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 Yeah, keep going. Megan then gets the ten. Of course. She's a ten, fellas. Ten. Yes. See it with my yes. own two eyes. Ten. <laughs> a million times. We're yes. all just growling. Yes. 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 Wood. Obviously. We're gonna, we're gonna counter a wood. <laughs> Oh, Cody. Cody. Nah. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Is that Mackenzie? Oh, stand up. Spin stand around. Yes, up. that's 11. Oh, 11. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. She's an 11 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> 11. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to say, Che? I'll, I'll agree with those. We're at 11, right? I'll agree with those 11. Okay, so you now have to apologize to Dave. 
Sure. He's okay. taping BFF site right now. As soon as he's out, I'll uh, shoot him a text maybe. and uh, I'll maybe text him right now and tell him to come by when he's barge. Maybe barge in. Can we get a barge wheel? Let's get a barge wheel. Big Cat, would you sign off on a barge? Uh, yeah, I think I would. <laughs> oh, we going after oh, Donnie? I need a barge. Donnie. Oh, he's wearing too many clothes. Too Luke. much. Too much. Yes. That is a more expensive yeah. shirt. Oh! Oh! Yes. Oh! Yeah. Dude, you would go viral as shit. <laughs> yeah, keep now cooking like that. Now cook us a donut. <laughs> Make us a donut. <laughs> Make us a donut, Now baby. slap that dough around, oh boy. Oh, my God. Lick the hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does that count? Does shirtless Donnie count yes. as 12? Yes, 100%. Yeah. We should have him shirtless for the whole time. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. Good work, Good work Brandon. Brandon. Thank you, brother. We got 11? Yeah, 11. Yeah. You know Chef Donnie only listens to like old-timey war hymns? What? Yep. And then he... like he, Oh, we got it. <laughs> yeah. Really? He told me like he went on a date and he went back to his place and he put them on and he put on the war hymns and she was pretty weirded out. Yeah. <laughs> I would But then he, also... reco he recommended, he was like, you got to listen to this one. I was like, no. But What's I, an example? Yeah, what I, is I, a war hymn? What's a war I, hymn? I, I he listens to like marching tunes. Can we play 10 seconds of one, TJ? I'd imagine oh, it's very much in the public in? domain. What do I look up? War like, hymns? I don't. Yeah, war hymns. War hymns. War hymns. Yeah. <laughs> what if he plays taps when he has a date come in? <laughs> <laughs> he plays a bugle before he puts a condom on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like a horse racing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, listen, I won't play the taps if you don't make me wear a condom. Yeah, okay. like, this is the shit he, like, he'll listen to in his headphones. No. Sent a, sh sent a shiver down your spine, didn't it, Brandon? Yeah. Hey, Brandon, whoa, whoa, what was whoa, that? Whoa, 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 what, what was, was that? that? Yeah. What was that? What was that? What was that Got picture? Um... Go back to that, well, TJ. That was a totally inaccurate representation of this country. Whoa, hey. What oh. the hell? <laughs> if only, man. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Chef. What's up? Hey, yes, chef. What's up? Hey, chef. He's very busy. Corner. You're very busy. Yes. Making tartare for the clients. Some tartare. What's up? Um, what what do you play? What what music do you listen to? What genre? Oh, also, this take, now? Your, take your shirt off. <laughs> what was this? I listen to that, like... Most music is pre 1950, 1940. Some of it's 1800s, like war <laughs> marching songs. How'd you get into that, <laughs> dude? It's like started with bluegrass, and then slowly got older and older, and and you know started with Marty Robbins, gunslinging ballads, and then slowly started getting into. What was the one Mar you said I had to listen to? Like you were like nobody can't like this one. Mm, I don't know if nobody. Can. I said molasses is a good molasses. Song. You molasses. recommend molasses? <laughs> too. But I wouldn't play molasses? that. I wouldn't play that one. God, it's, it's, uh, did you play that for a chick? Did you play molasses I, for a chick? Yes, I did. <laughs> How did it go? How did not, it go? not well. How does molasses go? <sighs> well, it's. The opening line is not good. I don't want to. Oh, no. No, 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 no. They're written. They're old fucking songs. They're Wait, old, it's what a war is song. it from? It's from, like, the British colonies. It's, like, pre-revolutionary war. Okay. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you do is so yeah. cool, and then you erase it all. Yeah. Well, it's, by it's, recommending it's molasses. Good what? music. I mean, some of it's, like, uh, Union Dixie's, like, the Confederate National Anthem that Abraham Lincoln stole. You're listening to that? Abra no, Abraham Lincoln took it. He liked the tune so much, he changed the words. It was the Union uh, marching song. So this is where you, look, like, in the, in the summer, you roll the windows down you're vibing in your car driving around town you're yeah. throwing this on yes yeah, it's a lot but <laughs> <laughs> and Marty, touch tunes molasses <laughs> marty robbins marty robbins is a good bridge that's like not, you know marty robbins i'm aware of him yeah like he's got some good i don't listen to him gun fighting songs yeah, yeah, yeah. wild west <laughs> sure big iron that's why are you song. using me because you're the oldest guy here <laughs> yep that's <laughs> fact. el paso el, there you go yeah, there we go it. yeah that's see? a good tune there we go <laughs> yeah there's a lot i have a whole playlist there's a lot of good ones is it strictly American war tunes? No, some of them are about uh, yeah, actually Japan. strictly American, mostly American. Yeah. There's there's uh, a big gap between Marty Robbins and and war hymns from the well, 1860s. Johnny Ho Johnny Horton is like 1940. That's like uh, Sink the Bismarck was about sinking German battleships. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> it, wait, it, God, it, it, <laughs> put your clothes back on, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm turned right, off. I got to go back and finish the. <laughs> wait, yeah, okay. and the cold plunges. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, Donnie. Donnie. <laughs> that was such an awkward. Yeah. Oh. You went dicks out in the cold plunge too, right? Oh. So uh, Donnie, I was a, a regular at the Spy 88 in New York. Yep. Love the bathhouse. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, haven't been to one in Chicago, and I don't know if I ever will. There's a great one in Chicago. I was telling you off off air that it's cock Talking out. about Red Square? Uh, I, it's Winter the one on Park? Division. On, no, no, no. Oh, on, okay. on, on Division and uh, I don't know the other street. But yeah, it's a bathhouse. There's a men's section, women's section. Men, you can go mm. cock out. Yeah, 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 I understand you can go. Is right. there a societal pressure to go? No, I think if you have the choice, why not, you know? What well. happens to... What happens to a giant limpy when you go into... Right, yeah. Gone. Everyone? Uh, look, All the giant limpies? So no, you, were no, in no. A, you were in a pool, a plunge of a, about half a dozen men? No, no, no. It's mostly, it's like one or two guys, Max. It's what? older guys, too, who love, to, you know, just chopping right. it up. But they're, so I, all yeah. the giant limpies go small? Uh, that's from, from what I noticed. The so, I, they were all the same size. I wasn't examining that close. Is it a great quickly. equalizer, you, or is it more of a... Uh, I think it gets um, yeah 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 when it gets that cold. Do you have a giant limpy? No no, pretty okay. average. Average. But limpy. what about after the plunge? Tiny. My balls get sucked up into like my like you they fuck disappear. Yourself. No, they just yeah. disappear. You ever have your that? dick goes into you? <laughs> you pointed a move, guys. I got it. I'm digging myself. I'm move. digging myself. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God damn, dude. Does your dick go into you? Basically, that's yeah. gay. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah you mm -hmm. fucking there yourself. you got me. You got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a brutal point for Mook. <laughs> yeah, like, was... yeah, yeah. You know, like this guy the balls go inside about. you, Mook. <laughs> I mean, I basically have a vagina when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all do. Yeah. Can we play molasses as we watch him walk away? <laughs> yeah, I'm interested in what molasses is. <laughs> oh man, do the high noon head real quick yeah, while of course. we wait for molasses. It's time to load up on the ice and break out the oversized lawn games because the High Noon Game Day Pack is back. It includes limited edition fan faves, pear and cranberry, along with black cherry and grapefruit. As you know, it's made with real vodka, real juice, 100 calories, gluten-free, and there's no added sugar. The High Noon Game Day Pack is a fall exclusive, which means it's here for a good time, not a long time. Visit highnoonspirits.com before your next tailgate to find a pack near you. Love it. Are we going to have some tonight? Are we allowed to sip high noons at the... Uh, yeah. Like y'all are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brandon. Yeah. You think I should just crack no. one open? No. no. Damn. Jerry, what's going on with the gunk? You have gunk on you? I, took, I, got, a, I got a Tide Pod. To, uh, tide Pod. I got a... Um, tide Pen? Tide Stick. What was the gunk? Sit down for a second. Um, actually, it was... You got gunked? Look no, at those shoes. Actually, rice. It was um, it was dehydrated rice. That's gunk. That's gunk. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the number one gunk. Yeah. Sorry about the the golf thing. The um guys here. What a, what? I know because I seen a comment yesterday that's like, oh, it's a little loud when they were doing the act. Oh. oh. We haven't really. I didn't notice. We yeah. also have the. We could close our windows. Yeah. If we had to. I feel really like cool. we're like a stoop chilling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just people walking by. This is exactly what I wanted. Just yeah. on a porch. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's cool. Get um, some forties. How's the how's the golf pro life going? Good. I organized everything. We got a lot of extra stuff. Some other stuff I ordered today. Um, but it's good. It's good. Well, like let me it. ask you this, Jerry. You making time for yourself? You getting out there? Not as much as I would like. <laughs> Not as much as I would like. Yeah. A lot of admin work. Yeah. You might have to yeah. resign as golf pro. Yeah. <laughs> but no. <laughs> so you, have you played like a full? Yeah, I played full, full 18. 18. Yeah, I played yesterday. Any full pars? 18. Any birdie? Uh, a couple pars, one birdie. Nice. Uh, shot plus 20. Oh, that's not bad. No, yeah. I think it's a little more forgiving, though. Yeah. Are you going to have a banned list? Are you going to suspend people? Oh, uh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I kind of wanted, I know Brandon is against this, but um, I wanted to kind of have a tea time kind of list because. Why is Brandon against this? You're the golf pro. You get to decide. No, 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 Brandon no, doesn't no. get to decide. No, well, no. I showed. Oh, me and Titus came out of our show. Titus didn't have a problem with it, but I did. I, I, I walked in there. Me and Titus are literally the only other two people here besides Jerry. But let me ask you a question. I walked in and started to play. He said, "Do you have a tea time?" I right. Said, I'm not doing. That <laughs> I'm not doing that stupid crap. We're the only people here. No, but you have to reserve a tea time. No, I. I, I, I actually I, let him do that stupid crap. No, I, I, no Brandon. I'm not. That's my thing. Is this? You want to hear my thing? Ban him. I'm not. No, 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 don't. Ban him. I'm not going to ban him yet. My thing is this. It's. I feel like it's pretty annoying if, hey, if like let's say. Hank and Chaps are playing a nine-hole match. And then you have somebody coming in, and it's like, 
hey, can I get can I get a couple shots? Right. But Jerry, I walked up annoying. and nobody was there. But you, all you had to I, do is I say, know. Jerry, can I'm, we get a tea time? Yeah. And yeah. I'm giving and you. And he would have been the tea time. Right but there. what if someone had a tea time for ten minutes after we started, Brandon? I don't know. I guess I would have gotten off. Yeah. 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 So all you have to do is ask him for a tea time. Yeah. The list I actually, is up there. I actually do like it because uh, th- there's a world where like Hank will just be out there for. Right. Uh, Jerry said himself, he's going to play for six hours straight. We need somebody. Yeah. yeah to step I'm in and say, here. Jerry, yeah. you know what we need to do, and Ooh. maybe Stephen, you can talk to sales about this. We need to, uh, so we actually get paid for it. But we should have a rack uh, of polos. Rowback polos. Yeah. Yes. So when people get tea times, they have to put on a exactly. polo. Exactly. I don't want people go. playing in sweatshirts. I know. Mm-hmm. I, I want know. to respect We're the We're above that. Yeah. yeah. I do want to have a tournament here where it's like, hey, everybody gets dressed up. We play. You know, I love it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You know. You also the quiet maybe get signs. some. You hold up. Yeah. Some sunscreen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. Do the whole thing. Just in case. Waters. Yeah. It'd be fun. Oh, you could be a. You could also be a cart girl. Ooh. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cart guy. Well, oh. you. Uh, does, do they does make it, those? That doesn't hit the same. Nah. Like a male nurse? doesn't hit the same. I could dress up as Gina and do the cart cart. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to see fun. Jerry the cart guy out there. Dave wasn't happy this morning. Why? Who knows? <laughs> what was he upset about? Like, oh, this is all we do now is play golf? Oh, uh, well, yeah, of course you can see Yeah, he that. saw his hacky sacking, didn't love that either. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm, he's like, I'm blogging. I'm like, yeah, yeah well, I mean, we're, we're, we're golfing. Getting the place this <laughs> night. <laughs> 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 oh, man. <laughs> Dave has an office here. That's great. Yeah. He, I would like for him to come around more, you know? I would too. I would love be, it. Be really cool. Rico, uh, mm-hmm. is he in today? I think so. It'd be cool. He's a guy who can quickly get suspended. From the Yeah. I, I think you should maybe think about suspending this guy. He's got a bad attitude. Brandon? Yeah. Sure. He doesn't respect the golf pro. Well, one hour suspension. Okay. Start now. No, thank you. Fair? That's fair. What happens when somebody comes in on the weekend and you're not That's here? That's fine. You could do that. But believe, but leave it nice, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This morning I came in, it was whatever. Oh. No yep. names. Ooh. I'm not gonna no research. Any leads? No leads. No leads. We gotta find out, Jerry. You gotta keep that thing fresh. Yeah, as long as it's not terrible, you know what I mean. Okay. I did inventory this morning. We got. <laughs> I did because you know these this stuff is expensive. You yeah. Don't want people stealing it. Yeah. You know? People mm. people uh, like free stuff, but this isn't really free stuff. Right. Know? Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Run a tight ship. I'm trying. Yeah. Jerry texted me last night and he was like, "I'm thinking about going back to the office yeah. just to hang out." <laughs> it was like yeah, he tweeted at, at like 11 yeah. He's like how do I get out of my house Yeah <laughs> He's he's the right man for the job I'll yeah, say that yeah. He's Gra- gonna take it seriously Crack some skulls What's his title? What would you call Golf him? pro Golf pro Yeah He's golf pro Head groundskeeper yeah. Slash golf pro He's gonna get a little plaque Car girl as well Car girl He is a car girl as well yeah. uh, Che you have to go apologize to Dave yeah, I texted uh, Austin. He's in BFFs till one thirty. All right, yeah, well, let's. Yeah. Oh, barge wheel. He's. We, we made a request for him to come on after that. Okay. Uh, Manscaped, by the way, Mary Ball Ballsmiss from our friends over at Manscaped. Uh, Manscaped is the best place to get all of your trimmers, everything you need to make sure that you keep tight. If you're maybe going to the bathhouse, you want to make sure you look good. Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0 Ultra is the ultimate bundle for the man who deserves it all. Included in this special sack is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, Manscaped's Liquid Formulations, and two free gifts. Starting with Santa's number one helper, we have the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. The fifth generation trimmer features two next gen blade heads, a standard trimmer blade for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go for that smooth finish wherever your heart desires. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Body Trimmer and the Weed Whacker 2.0 Nose and Hair Ear Hair Trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence. Now that you've groomed the candy cane, it's time to make sure you don't smell like a reindeer with the Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti Chafe Ball Deodorant. Once they touch your sack, you'll never go back. The gift of Manscaped doesn't stop there. This bundle comes with two free gifts Manscaped's Boxers 2.0 Premium Underwear in the Shed. 2.0 toiletry bag once you're done shaping up it's only right you put your pants uh presents in the best wrapping at all the boxers 2.0 they 
They are seriously the best boxer, boxers I've ever worn. Get 20% off and free shipping with code YAK at manscaped.com. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code YAK. Manscaped, get your jingle balls ready for the holidays with Manscaped. Go use that code right now. Um, TJ, can we can we spin the wheel right now? Because I have a very busy day, and it dawned on me that it might be wet, so I have to Ooh, figure no. out how to uh, yep. get over that. This would be a disastrous day for me. Is our shower wet. operational? Yes, a oh. disastrous day for me to get wet. Like, full-on disaster. Yes. yes. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> Thank God. It, it'll be tomorrow. Would tomorrow not be more of a disaster? Tomorrow's worse. I will. I oh. No, because I will plan it. To, well, I'm going to get in a suit for uh, the invitation oh, anyway. Look at that wheel. But I hate that. <laughs> today would have been a disaster because I did not plan it, and we have so much shit going on all day, so that would have been a disaster. A true disaster. Hmm. Tomorrow also, I think we're going to draft our... Uh, Dodgeball teams for Thursday. You guys ready to play some dodgeball? Who are captains? This is just the Yak crew? No, it's going to be everyone in the office. It'll be the first Ooh, office stream. I love nice. that. Ron and I are going to be commentating. So four of us will be captains and we'll uh, draft the full office team? We could do it that way. We could we could figure out a way to do it on the wheel. Uh, will and Taylor will be here. It's going to be a packed house. Four let's teams. Wait, let's, four make teams. A, let's make a pack to pick. I think it might even I thought be it was four. It might be four. Oh. might be six. So, oh. I think teams of five would be the perfect number. So how are we going to yeah. – is it like a tournament? Is it a, yeah, it's going to be a tournament. Okay. Yeah. Let's pick Taylor last. Let's make a pack. Let's see. Let's watch him squirm. <laughs> yeah. That's a good call. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be It's gonna be great, though. Thursday, the boys will be here. Um, I'm injured. No, you're not. I'm, wor- I'm worried about my body holding up. That's not office. injured. Are you wearing pug socks? Oh, yeah. I got the dog on me, dude. <laughs> dog is, is that the dog? Wait, <laughs> that's 13. That's definitely more dressed up than yeah. Steven. Yeah. Yeah. I got my best socks, best pants on, my Perth hoodie. Feeling good. Perth hoodie. Perth hoodie. <laughs> my Perth hoodie. <laughs> you're, you're, you're rubbing your cap. That's yeah, the cap, the sore? Cap, the cap's busted, dude. That's what... That's oh, you got a is it from yesterday? Is that from us, us pushing you? Yeah. How? <laughs> what do you mean, how? <laughs> yeah, How? Yeah, I didn't think you took that big of a bump either. I took a bump. These boys said they said they were pushing me towards the basket, trying to help me out. Yeah, yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah, you're rolling at a faster pace than if you were running. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. <laughs> but I'm limping. But who, Titus? Who was the worst team that beat the best team yesterday, if any? Uh, the big upset was James, James Madison over they're, Michigan State. Uh, but they're but they're really good. James Madison yeah. is a good team. Michigan uh, State's four. Michigan State was ranked fourth and at home. Though. Oh wow! And they didn't. Ma- they were they one for twenty from the three point line. One for twenty. Yeah. And oh, they I- missed fourteen free throws. Yeah. But uh, Big Cat says they're going to win the national championship. Ah, right, so. we did that combo. <laughs> Tune into the ti- Mark Titus show. We literally yesterday afternoon talked about the college basketball season. I have Michigan State as my yeah that was winner awesome. of That's it all, how, and oh, then no. they lost. Yeah, they <laughs> lost. That was a jam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It felt good. It I felt good to have. I kind of like one it. day into the season. I like, yeah, I like but they lose to a good have team. A it's, it, it starts the DVD resets off perfectly. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Matt Ramos, number three high schooler, beat the number one D one guy. I was over just the gonna weekend. say Matt Ramos. Yeah. Wait a minute. Beat the number one. <laughs> so the number three guy in high school <laughs> upset the number one guy in high school at a college tournament, and then beat the number one guy in the nation, the kid who pinned Spencer Lee. Is that really an upset? Three over one. Three in high school oh. over one in Division One. Oh. That's insane. Yes. Whoa. Right. It's unheard of. But then he lost to the number six. Why were they guys. wrestling each other? Yeah, um, at an open tournament. They just one of them is free for all. It's for red guy. shirts, backups, high schoolers, if they wow. want. By a high school junior? His oh. name's Marcus, Marcus Blaze? Marcus Blaze. Yeah. So Marcus Blaze upset Jax Forrest, who was another high school, a sophomore, who I was talking about. Oh. We're getting close to uh, statutory here. Yeah, this, I didn't know y'all could do this. Holy this is the shit. least yeah, is sexual this thing. Is this legal? <laughs> we get way in, more in. What's he doing to him? He's gripping him. I think he he is, him. So oh! is that not dangerous, KB? No, like, I mean. He puts him yeah. on his head. <laughs> no offense, CJ. That sounded very pussy. No, there's a, <laughs> like a penalty. <laughs> it in looked pretty bad. Side. This new era of high school kids, they're evolving. They're so much better at scrambling and defending shots. It's insane. Do you think they're doing Whoa. more jiu-jitsu because of the UFC? How popular that is? I think no. I think they're just specializing in wrestling from a younger age and more f- intensely, like two a days. Stupid question. What's not allowed in wrestling? A lot. Most uh, things that are cool. 
<laughs> Anything that's fun to watch is not allowed. Yeah, but that happened. How often does catastrophic injury happen? Not as much as other sports. Okay. What if um, there were to not be as much as football? If there were to be a concussion like scandal in wrestling, what would it be? Cauliflower ear? Like what would be the thing? Like uh, we don't know. Cauliflower the is pretty. It's yeah. What's like a consequential? What's staff like infections? Basketball has torn ACLs. Where like it would be. It, um, it just feels like it happens every so often. Right, I'm a, not hip to what's going business. on. When I was in college, it was 100 percent skin infections, like herpes. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> so did everybody have herpes? There was times. I think probably 40 percent of our team got pretty chronic herpes outbreaks on their faces and heads, scalps. Weren't you hospitalized? I was, yeah. Jesus. Non-sexual, but... So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's yeah. that's even worse. Right. It was the breaking point of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, I thought bed bugs was the breaking point of your life. Uh, yeah, that was post, uh, I guess, uni. But, uh, <laughs> dude, when, you, when your face has herpes and you also haven't been having any sexual activity, oh, yeah. there is no worse feeling. When your face <laughs> is riddled with herpes, you can't open your mouth. All the way, because of the herpes. Because of the herpes sores. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, that's a huge Dude. bummer. That's Dude. just like tearing your ACL. I had to have my parents pick me up from college because my I was too herpes to drive. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I, it's been long, and it's been ten years now. I'm comfortable a little bit talking about it, but yeah, <laughs> you were too herpes to drive. Yeah. <laughs> right. Jesus Christ. No, actually, I drove to Cambridge, and they picked me up in the middle because I couldn't finish the drive to Wheeling. Because <laughs> herpes. Because the herpes hurt too bad, or they were, like, closing your eyes? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, was also, pulled over. I was also cutting weight for an upcoming yes. tournament that I probably I knew I probably so couldn't compete. Mess. In. So I was starving and herpied. <laughs> no. Fuck. God damn. Yeah. Too herpes was it like drive. haunting to look at? Like, were you? Yeah, I have the. I, my dad has the picture. He'll he'll just like text it to me randomly, just to like, <laughs> just to, like remember. Oh, here's your. This rock is bottom also you. just a reminder. Oh, he just texted it to. Him. No, he no, didn't. No, he's no watching, he oh, he's well, listening. He's definitely. Listening. What up, Greg? <laughs> oh, is it, is it gross? Send it. No, I can't. Why? It's Can that I look bad. At it? Yeah, I can't let Can anyone see this. Mr. Winoy, uh, send it to let me. Let me look at it. This is. I'll give you an honest reaction. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Kyle, I gotta see it. Holy! You shit. have to send it to everyone. Absolutely not. Uh, come here. Come over to me and Brandon. Absolutely not. He looks like he, he looks like he fell like face first into like a uh, scalding hot oil and marinara pit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> You can imagine how it felt. Come yeah. on, share yeah. with the class. Share with the class. This is like the hurts. new two girls, one cup. Yeah. So Kyle's watch, face. Watch people <laughs> react to Kyle's Titus, face. Titus, I no, I, I want you to respect me too much. What about me? And, what about me and Brandon. <laughs> I'll see you guys after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a that's uh, a fair. That sucks. Yeah, man. I can't even be mad at that. You're yeah. such a cool, handsome guy. You yeah. don't get to look at the homies herpes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that means you don't respect me at all. <laughs> yeah, he showed you he right away. Oh shit! Right away. Damn it! Sorry, Dan. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Uh, I've seen you at your lowest now. Man. Were you you were in the hospital for that? No, I just went to a, the dermatologist. Okay. What, I think what I happened, would kill they myself misdiagnosed me as imp um as impetigo. Okay. So, which is a different thing. One's a virus, one's an infection. So I was taking the wrong medicine. It was getting worse. That's brutal. Damn. Kyle, you've man. been through it, man. You're tougher than anyone here. That's a fact. I think I handled well, I think that. We already probably, thought that. Yeah. yeah, we always thought that, but like now it's like very uh, much. Oh, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are toughest motherfucker yeah. alive. Yeah. Um, Che, how did you know it was an election day? Is it an election day? Yeah, there's no NBA on tonight. Because it's an election day. Yes. Who's getting elected? I don't know. How would I know that? It's like what? noon. Oh, so you only know it's not an election day because there's no NBA. Who's in the election? Oh, I don't know who's in the election. You found out it was election day because NBA is not playing games. Yes. That makes sense. And I got a bunch of text messages about vote for this person. But those were today. Are you going to vote for any of them? I'm, I haven't changed my license yet. I have a DMV appointment in like in a week. 
What the fuck do they oh, elect? It'll be years before I change my license. What do they elect? Oh, something. It's senators, congressmen, who knows? Wait, That's Brandon, right you haven't now? changed it yet? No. Uh, then yeah. you're going to have to take a driving test. Why? If you wait longer than 90 days, you have to retake your driving test. We can uh, go together because I have to take it. I do too then. Yeah, I guess. You guys should go together. That's fine. Fuck. I need his car what, anyway. what if you wait like three years? I waited three years. Yeah, I haven't changed mine. I'm not changing. I'm not doing. Yeah, wait. How do they know the 90 days? Yeah. I should be like, yeah, I moved here. Tw- I moved here yesterday. Eight, have, nine days ago. You have to show like proof of ocu- like residency. And we'll okay. Show, I'll show, show my bill from I show my bill last week yeah. and be like, in the event here. of what? You have to show a lot of things. It's all to show them a lot of new sexual. things. <laughs> yeah, you got to show your asshole. <laughs> you got to show them a lot of things. I'll just go back to Jersey and re up there. <laughs> Look at that. But you have to. In Jersey, I think you'd have to show a lot of things as well. No, already all I have to do now is re- renew. I'll Where would they send it? I don't know. Who, who knows? Or maybe I just won't have a driver's license. No, yeah, I'm that, not. I'm not getting another only one till I. Uh, let me see when mine expires. I, I what state? Uh, California? I'm California. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Every time I get a new driver's license in a new state, I just it makes me sad to not live in Mississippi. So I just get closer and closer to living there. So I don't even want to do it. Oh, you know, happy right mine now? expires. I'm next. happy. I'm happy. How long have you mine been out expires of Mississippi? In June? Um, four, four years this time. Damn. Yeah. Your life changed. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, you say you it's better or you worse? You couldn't go back. Uh, better in some ways, worse in others. Yeah. You, could, you couldn't go back. <laughs> what, what ways has it gotten worse? Uh you know, there's a there's a constant dread and misery of getting on the road in the morning. Oh. And you know, well, uh, I used to I used to get in my car. And yeah. I would drive so, to work, and I would be there in three minutes. Maybe this is a. It's an incredible so it's job. Really, you could just have the choice that you don't like. Yeah, you could have yeah. done that here. You, you could live, live on right a lake. over there. There's there are places you could you could have lived right over here. I need he, a lake. He needed There's a, lake. a really big one here. Oh, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> what if you just it. move the whole Walker family yeah. into a condo building uh, on Lakeshore right. Drive? <laughs> 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 that's my lake, <laughs> right there. You could probably honestly store the boat you have in an apartment or a condo on oh, Lake Shore Drive. Oh, in Mook's yeah, I've, apartment. Yeah, so, space. Yeah. Just keep it in there okay. and then just like pull it out you when you want to take bitches. it out on Lake Michigan. Like additional seating. You sons me. of bitches that think my boat was small. Me and my, my buddy came over, my neighbor buddy, and uh, we lifted the boat out of the water and put it up on my ramp for safekeeping this winter so it doesn't, you know, because there's going to be ice. Um, it was very heavy. <laughs> very heavy. <laughs> so that means you're wow. weak. I'm yeah. not weak. It's very heavy. Took two of us, and we winched it, and I had to get down in the water. The water was very cold. I didn't have feelings in my legs and calves for about six hours. Uh, so, but we got it. So you have, like, a super dense, teeny-weeny boat. No, no, no. No, it's a it's an average-sized <laughs> boat. Five people capacity. I'd like to correct something. I think Brandon's the toughest guy here now. Yeah, yeah. he lifted up that he really heavy little boat. He had boat. to stand yeah. in really cold water for over 30 seconds. No, no, no. It was, like, it was like, like six minutes. What? Yeah. Did you have a limpy? Not uh, very much, yeah. 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 What's it look like afterwards? And, uh, like a grub worm and a turtleneck. Wait, yeah. how f- <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So you're uncircumcised. We need to draw that. A grub <laughs> worm and a turtleneck? <laughs> I, would, I would rather look at Kyle's herpy face than hear that again. Yeah. Yeah. Grub worm and a turtleneck. We need someone to draw a grub worm and a turtleneck. Is a grub worm a smaller worm? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a, it's a it's pupating a worm, right? It looks kind of like, like a, a caterpiller, oh, it's like right? A pupating yeah. worm. It's like a tiny you, little... you feed them to like chameleons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Or iguana. A little grub worm, worm and a turtleneck. Yeah. That's what what color's like. the turtleneck? <laughs> oh, at that time, probably purple, blue, yeah. something like that. Okay. <laughs> a very cold color. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, I have a hyper color penis, though. When it gets warm, it gets a Hyper colors. color? <laughs> mm-hmm. Super oh, chromatic? Am I just very old? Uh, did, did y'all not have hyper color growing up? What hyper is, color shirts? Is that when, when you, you touch the shirt color. and it changes color? Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Your dick does oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember those. When I touch my dick, it changes colors. You remember that? That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember it. I remember mm-hmm. it. Those were awesome. Yeah. That technology was, yeah. Thought that was the future. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. AI. Almost. Ex- yeah. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. what your penis yeah. looked like. Yeah. A grub worm and a turtle. Man. I didn't know they had those cute faces, but yeah. How do you do the AI? Uh, yeah, I, I would never stop using. Wow. Oh. You, just, you type in Look grub worm and a penis. turtleneck and it gives you this. But where do you type it in? Microsoft Bing has a good one. And do you have to pay for it or sign up for you it? You get like credits and then after you run out of those, you have to pay for it. That's my penis. What is uh, what is the legitimate <laughs> use of this? Because like Ooh, 99... That was pretty that good. Was, yeah, like that was 99, effective, yeah. 99% of people are just doing this shit, right? You're just like searching. Yeah. yeah you right, just want like, to think of a phrase real quick? Is, uh... uh 
A lot of juice in those yams. <laughs> yeah. 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 Juicy yams. Juicy yams. Yeah. Juicy yams. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, just no. mean, like, are, are businesses using this for a purpose? Like, is, is there any, like, is, is this stimulating the economy in, in yeah. any way? Or are people just shit posting? I think they're just shit posting. A lot yeah. of shit posting. A lot of Peter Griffin. Yeah. Can you give yeah. me Glenn Quagmire with a Thanos glove? <laughs> 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 Yeah, we have like amazing technology, and everyone's just like, "Let's yeah. make Peter Griffin drink lean." Yeah, right now. it's always yeah, Peter like, oh. drinking double cups. Yeah. But I think you would think that some major corporations are using it. Yeah, but like I, can't, I can't figure out like what the purpose. Of no, it's what what it what it would be. It's used for people to just like, go viral. It's just yeah. like yeah, well, show me uh, SEC fans if they were animals. And they just right. threw it. Oh, oh, look at that top left. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! Wait, wait, what is, is that? It? Black, 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 black quagmire. Black quagmire. <laughs> it's Elvis Peter. What the hell? Shits on a lordy. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn Peter. Baby Davis quagmire. That's oh, that's so fucking funny. Did I watch Interstellar last night? Oh, you're still doing the movie thing. I I've, I only know it as people saying it's very good. I don't it like it. It was very depressing. It was. I didn't finish. Made me cry almost. Except good for that movie, one though. funny scene. We've talked about it before. The guy who when when they get off the uh, uh, planet that ages you like seventy five years, he's just standing there. He's like, I've been waiting for you, and he's mm -hmm. like ninety. That Murph! Out. Sad. Murph! Yeah. Murph! He's like, well, what's up, guys? I've been sitting here. Seventy. That time years. thing fucked me up. Yeah. Yeah. It's an okay movie. I saw it with Hank in the theater. Maybe I didn't quite happen. understand it. I had to go watch a YouTube video afterwards. <laughs> Did you watch the one? Hank and I, I think, made a, a YouTube review video. I don't think that was the one I watched. Damn. Just <laughs> shit. I love those review content creators. Yeah. Like the guys that are just super nerdy. They have the YouTube voice. Mm -hmm. And yeah. right to the point. I was watching black dudes listen to MGMT for the first time last mm -hmm. night. Yep. Oh, my mm -hmm. God. Yeah. Oh, these guys are funky. Yeah. <laughs> Black guys listen to Chris Stapleton for the first time. Oh, it's also yeah. Funny. His yep. brother has soul. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a cheat code video. Just always funny. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Black guys listening to like Lil Mabu being like, this white boy can, <laughs> can rap. All right. Let's see where he's going to go with this. Yeah. Lil Mabu. Who is that? You know Lil yeah, Mabu? I've heard of him. You guys will know. Oh, is he the guy? No, he was beefing with Blueface? Yeah. yeah. He took he took Christian. Look what at are me. you doing? Yeah, you're yeah. tapped in. Look at me. Tapped in. Did you Big see pop? Blueface at the Rams game? Yeah. Yeah, that that's was, the, that was Matt part Stafford's of the wife got mad at him. Yeah. At Blueface? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not at Matt. No, I, I uh, <laughs> Nikki Smokes is my is my portal. He explained it all to me. The whole the whole beef. Yeah. Mabu took well, that's a, a yep. lot of faith on your part to just take his word on anything. He's, he's plugged in. Yeah. I mean, he could tell you anything. I don't think he would. Pr oh, prank, prank, he's a prankster? Prank? Oh, we should tell Nikki Smokes to do a prank tonight. Prank Dave? Well, we should just be like, look, there's a lot of clients coming. They want new mm -hmm. content ideas to get behind. Exciting, funny stuff. What would stuff? be a better yeah. time to do a prank than tonight? Right. Showcase it firsthand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to spike the punch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with blue chew. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine 90 clients with boners. Oh, <laughs> the Nikki Smokes. <laughs> that All is right. exactly what it is. <laughs> Arab heaven. <laughs> <is. laughs> he is a prankster. No, no limpies tonight. Dude. That guy is a prankster. Yeah, what would happen if you take like a blue chew and get in the cold plunge? Is it a tiny hard dick? Oh, that'd be a oh. fight for your life. Mm-hmm. What, what do we got? This. He's thought oh. about this. Oh, I don't know. You couldn't have a tiny Add hard boner thing, ice you? plunge to the wheel. Put boner <laughs> ice plunge into AI. <laughs> yeah, TJ, <TJ>, please. <laughs> TJ, oh, you're, you're impatient you do, for your uh, anything graphic. What do you mean? We just did grub worm turtleneck. Yeah, but th that was those are both. It's only implied those are both actual that things. Can we do yeah, ice plunge arousal? No. Can we hmm. do ice plunge? Penis. <laughs> ice plunge. Let's see how many ways I can ask. Big, big hard dick. All right, pull up ice spice with a dick right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Zah. Thank you, Zah. <laughs> there we go, Zah. 
What's up, Zah? Where have you been, Zah? Oh. Oh, damn. Zah, where have you been? Behind the screen. You can't see me no more. No, no, no. I mean, like, you were were you gone? You were gone for a few days. Yeah, I was gone on Friday. One of my uh, one of my brothers got uh, got married. Well, one of my friends got married. So I was gone. Uh, I was in what Tampa. What was the brothers there? What's up? He's like blood to you. No, he's, he's, my, yeah, he's, my, he's oh. my boy. He's my boy. Yeah, so so down in Tampa for the weekend, and Love that it. was a movie. Oh, it was a movie. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Is there any strip clubs? Always, nah, nah, nah. We stayed off. We 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 stayed in the bougie uh, the bougie areas. We didn't go to uh, Mons Venus and then. Oh. Yeah, no. Nah, I think I'm I think I'm past that in Tampa. What's Mons, Mons, Mons Venus? Venus? Wait, bro, the greatest strip club on the planet. It's pretty crazy. Ooh. It's probably second just to to uh, to Tootsie's. Yeah. But yeah. Tootsie's the wings take it take it over the top. Mons That's Venus it. is quite something. Mons Venus. Yeah. Tampa's got so many good strip clubs. Yeah. Odyssey. What uh what what makes a good strip club besides good titties? Uh wings, food. Oh. In particular wings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so titties Mostly. probably number one. Are, are titties number one? I did no, I that actually yeah. no. <laughs> I think it goes pussy wings titties. No, I think I think it's wings now. Oh. You go to strip clubs oh, for pussy. pussy. Yeah, wait, uh, you're we've nutty. been, been through this. <laughs> pussy. pussy. You've lost wings. your damn mind. Who doesn't go to strip clubs for pussy. <laughs> pussy is number one. <laughs> was jo- That's down there with I blue was joking, team. all right? <laughs> yeah. It's a joke. It goes way taking a girl to the back room. Let me see that pussy. Guys, I was fu- I was joking around. No way, man. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Oh, I hope I see shake good your pussy, pussy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> shake your pussy for me. Just go to a strip club. It's all topless. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Yeah. When are they gonna show me the pussy? <laughs> uh, Zah, how could it have been a movie if we didn't get any vague tweets about someone at Barstool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, it was. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, you didn't it, apologize. I had, the next uh, yeah. I, no, I had my couples around me, so they 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 had they had uh, they had their phones. They okay. had my phone on them. So. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Uh, but it was trust me, it was a movie. There, there's nothing. Actually, you know what? I, I you should have picked up on it. I slipped up. Oh, what? I slipped up. What'd All you of do? you should have picked up on. What'd you slip up on? In the group chat. Did you did you drunk oh, text us? I What'd did. I certainly did. did. Miss it? What? I certainly did. <laughs> I, no. I woke up the next morning. I wanted to. Oh my yeah, god! I blocked your number, but I. Wait, saw you drunk it, it, text it, us? Yep, it was very vague. That that monster text in the group after, after the kid. I forgot who who sent the kid. Uh, actually, after Brandon's picture from 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 the high school game. Oh, monster! Yeah. I thought Brandon. you were you talking about the word monster. I, I, I thought was. you were talking about the. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah, I, yes, I was, but a sober Za would have never done that. Wait, oh, well, how are you going to say monster? What do you mean, said monster? It's a picture it, I, of a high I, school football me. player that's large, and you just said monster. Yeah, was, that, like, why would we a think sober Zah would never do a, a, a perfectly so- logical text? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Brandon monster. said number 77 is listed at 68330, and then Zah said monster. That's that was completely the in most line with appropriate the conversation. Response. I was blackout drunk by then. Oh, I was, was gone. Nine Arsenal, oh. Arsenal had, yeah, Arsenal oh, had you lost. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it does... It, yeah, it does yeah. seem drunk. It's out there. I see it now. That's it? <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a monster. It's just one word, monster. Yeah. Zah was fucked up. Zah, oh, oh yeah. wait, in this context, yep, yep, he's fucked up. Can confirm. Yeah, can yeah, confirm. Zah, it can't be a movie <laughs> unless I wake up and see a tweet from you and then have to go on, like, a, a deep dive on what you're talking about and never find it. Nah, we're... That's the, that's the true Zah. Nah, nah. It's like, some people don't respect me. And I've taken names, <laughs> and then you like go and you're like, "What is he talking about?" Yeah, <laughs> nah, none, of, none of that no more. None of that no more. We'll Those see this weekend. Nah, none of that. Favorite. None of that in Chicago. Actually, I haven't been out in Chicago. I've only been to the bar, to the Barstool Bar. That's it. Have you tweeted uh, out a picture of you hung over with your forearm over your forehead? Uh, last one was Tekka Andrews' wedding, which was not in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. So. How was that wedding? Phenomenal. Did he get the money that he shook us all down for? Uh, I oh bill- yeah. No. So I couldn't follow up on the day because he was just everywhere with everybody. He was but getting I married. So. Yeah. 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 But it was it was great, man. It was out in Long Island, very nice, and all that. Shout out to them. He did thank he, thank me, and I I uh, I was he was very appreciative for anyone who gave money. Yeah. Good. He deserves Good. it. TJ yeah. is a rock star. Guy yes. rocks. Um, okay, what else we got, boys? We got 15 minutes till apology time. Oh yeah. Oh, wait, how was uh, Tiffany Gomez? Good. Good. In what way? When you say how was she? I'm, I'm, I'm implying Hank. How did Hank do? Good. In what way do you mean how was she though? 
like fun to be around. Oh, yeah, Is she a normal person. Yeah, they went out. They went to the Iowa Northwest. I didn't think game. that was that polarizing of a question. No, I'm just making it awkward for you. Okay. Yeah, she yeah. was totally normal. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I felt terrible. Yeah, that was, See, yeah. it worked. Whoa, yeah. Luke. I was like, I'm sorry. Damn. I'm blacked out like Zoss saying something <laughs> normal. I'm just trying to find a moment so that people forget the fact that I said I look at pussy at strip clubs. What was your number uh, one? Yeah. Number one. Wings hmm. was two. Pussy wings. <laughs> Uh, I guess titties. The big three. Pussy wings, blue cheese, celery, titties. <laughs> <laughs> Free shirts. Titties. I like titties. They're top eight yeah. at a strip club. <laughs> I mean, you can see titties on your computer. You yeah, see, facts. You see, that's you why see wings, wings are number wings. one. You, you also don't have to pay a Runa, monthly you can't fee eat your to see tits. And you IRL titties are different. <laughs> yeah, they do hit different. They always do. Yeah. And then don't get me started about IRL poops. IRL, I think I like I like virtual <laughs> pussy more than IRL. Same. Same. Yeah. IRL virtual. pussy hits like a pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. That's just four dimensional. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like my pussy pixelated. Oh my god. <laughs> a pitcher. <laughs> Man, we're having fun. <laughs> we're yeah. having fun. We're having a lot having of fun. Having a good time out when here. We should, we should uh, do a super cut of this show to show all of uh, the, <laughs> the sponsors yeah. coming in today. Yeah. Oh. What uh, What's everyone's responsibility for the uh, Barstool Invitational? Uh, have, I don't have we, know. Have we locked that in? I'm doing whatever you're every, doing. Everybody in this room who's has... On the, who's on the is, desk? Me and him. And who else? We're the desk. We are... So That's it. We are... Could PFT join? I guess. Yeah. I should. PFT can join, I guess. Yeah. PFT would be fun. I mean, he's... His team is number one in the country right now. I guess best win in the country. Should probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who, who's lead? Well, we planned a lot of two man. Yeah, bits. we should just throw all that. Well, then yeah. just do the it with garbage. PFT. Or we should, no, we should just throw everything out. Just throw it all out. I guess we don't have to get the clothes keep now. Keep the receipt for the. We don't have to thing. get the outfits. I would like PFT wants to do something. So the two man outfits. Can throw he do the that? Horse, can he do it? Yes, of course he can do it. I mean, he's a very funny guy. He likes one of the sports. funniest. He's a good friend of mine. I can vouch for him. You want me to vouch for him? I'll vouch for him. I'll vouch for him. Listen, why if, he, it, why if don't he's we get, not chill, uh, why don't we it's get, on me. Why don't we get Dan <laughs> in too, and then, mm, yeah. and then like you I don't and think I Dan could, would ever come on a show <laughs> with us. Though. Yeah, but but the, so, uh, uh, Dan, uh, so if Dan doesn't uh, come uh, on the show, uh, 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 you and I could. You and erroneous. I, could just not do it. I would like it cleared uh, up actually, right now. Would you just like to announce a game? Someone, someone, <laughs> someone tweeted me last night and said, "Is Brandon mad that you haven't gone on mostly sports yet? I have not been invited on mostly sports. That's fine. I would. I want it on the record." I would. I haven't been invited. Okay. And I, if you don't ever want to invite me, that's fine. But I don't want people to be like, oh, Big Cat doesn't like mostly sports. I what do you want to do, Brandon? Home. What do you want to do? Well, I was going to I was gonna invite him Thursday, but I've already invited PFT. Mm. 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 So, huh. we'll, we'll let you know, big guy. We'll let you know. <laughs> what about Dave? <laughs> Dave's here. Huh? Dave's here. Fuck Dave. Oh. oh. Okay. What? Listen. If my invite comes 10 <laughs> years from now, I'll be I'm happy cranky. then. Mm. You, by the way. Oh. Yeah. No. oh. What's up, boy? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I, no, 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 no. What you been calling me? Papa. <laughs> I, I uh, heard it, too. When, uh, can we play yeah. the clip <laughs> of Brandon no, no, no. getting oh. out of the car? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Because so, I heard that, like, out of nowhere. Like, I went to dinner with my DJ. neighbor the other day, and I was like, uh, he helped me, and I took him out to dinner. He helped you? And, and, and I, was, I was like, uh, you know, I got him to start listening to the yak. And we're riding down the road, he goes, so they call you Pop Pop, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. Like, no, just years. that one asshole no, calls me yeah. Pop Pop. Everyone else Nobody calls Nobody, Kyle's never called me Pop Pop. Titus never called me Pop Pop. Just you, Pop Pop. I uh, heard I do like the way you say it. Though. Yeah, it's endearing. It's very nice. <laughs> I heard something about you, Brandon. Uh oh. From White Sox, Dave. Okay. I sat down. He's like that asshole, Brandon. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's so dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, that asshole, Brandon. I, he waved <laughs> me in the car and then drove off and almost yeah. ran over a fucking basset hound. Not, <laughs> not even what? Jesus Christ! Not even close to what happened. And, and he said almost a the old lady. Too. Almost the old lady too, not, and it looked oh. like she just got cleared of cancer. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Where's that motherfucker at? Go get him. That's a what he told hound. me. Not he even ran over a basset close hound. Close to what happened. We gotta get him. Not not was there a basset what? hound? Let me, yeah. You were you in your the, car? But the, there was a basset hound. Let me tell you the story. Uh, I, Wait, no, was, no, we need him here. We need him here yeah. and here, but so we you, we can have a back and he forth. He might be in the goal. Let me see if he's in the goal. <laughs> a basset hound. Shit? Yeah, he was he was talking mad shit. 
And like you didn't care at all. You sped. He's coming. Him. He's coming? Yeah. He's coming. Let's call him. Titus, I don't need it. Anybody on He's coming. I still want Brandon to. Yeah. I, People uh, think that I hate well, mostly sports. Like I I like mostly sports. Yeah. It's you who I consider a good friend and also Brandon. And also we're trying to build a show organically and not just have oh. yeah. cheap hops of like you, you, you know. Yeah. Like you coming on and you just to boost the numbers. You guys are doing a great job. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, also, also <laughs> Nick. <laughs> 800 shirts later. <laughs> Uh, you almost hit a basset hound. If he can name the dog, that means it happened. No, no, no. I yeah. want that lion piece of shit in here. Like that's a clear like if you're in in a courtroom. This is like dumb. It was a he's basset winning hound. right now because he's such my a story? fine detail. Yes. Can I tell my story? He knows no, everything he's about coming. it. Mm. That asshole Brandon. I was leaving. <laughs> he was I was on the street. He was on the sidewalk. There were like cars parked. Like he's twenty feet away on the sidewalk. He is walking on the sidewalk. There's a dog. There's a basset hound and an owner on the sidewalk with Dave. I'm on. I'm in the car. I said, Dave, fuck you. And I thought the guy heard me. I was like, sir, not you. Basset hound is the best breed of dog. That's a beautiful dog. And then I kept going. That's all that happened. I, the dog was in the road. I didn't know. You lying Here piece is. of shit. Here he is. You lying motherfucker. Get him, Dave. Dave. You no, get him, Dave. Get him, Dave. Get him, Dave. 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 Right. Dave. Get him like he oh, just stop, got that basset hound. Stop, stop. Tell me the story of what happened yesterday. I don't know what story you're talking about. We've said Basset Hound like 30 times. I wasn't watching. Uh, you almost murdered a little Basset Hound puppy <laughs> and an old lady crossing the street. A, there was no old lady. Yeah, she was like 80. B, the Basset Hound was full grown. You don't know that. I can see it. That's Basset Hounds worse. don't get very big. <laughs> yes, they do. It's, the dog was this long. Wait. That was it. With your ch Wait. I'm chasing the ball right now. You almost murdered the dog regardless of its age. Where was the dog? And right. Would it be better if it was a full grown? On the street? Yeah, no, the dog exactly. was you dumb cunt. The dog was on the sidewalk. It, it, that, what does that matter? You're driving recklessly like a freak. <laughs> and it wasn't on. He, he wasn't <laughs> on the sidewalk. He's he very freak. He almost hit me pulling out of the parking lot. Yeah, line. I did that on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, and then you almost hit the Basset Hound because the, of it. I never got within 50 feet of the Basset you Hound. You got within two feet of the Basset You're Hound. You're a freak. You're a lying piece of uh, shit. I'm not. He tried to run down a Basset Hound. <laughs> the, the legs were dragging <laughs> on the ground Brandon? and everything. You uh, are TJ, a AI, a Jeep Wrangler running over a Basset Hound. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking yes, liar. Please. What, what does this benefit you? Let's just see. If this what did is I what say you, to the guy? This is what what did I saw. say to the guy? What did I say to the guy? You apologized, then you sped off. No, well, I, I scraped the dead body off the ground, basically. He's dead now. <laughs> Probably. I apologized because I was telling you you were an asshole. I thought the guy thought I was talking to him. I said, sir, that's a beautiful dog. Bass and Hounds are the best dogs. I almost killed it. I wasn't within uh, 75 feet of the he dog. He got pretty close. He, Dri drive the dog the, the, for, he had to yank the dog back. The dog was on the sidewalk where you were. That's not true. He had to yank what the is, dog. What is, he had to yank the he dog. Yank the dog. Yeah. Is, you were close enough. What is benefiting you right now? What is benefiting you right now? <laughs> I love the reaction, for one. Yeah. Okay, well, yes. so just above lying? Oh, wait. No, oh, no, no. Yeah. no. The opposite. Okay, wait, wait. Can you put in? Guys, yeah, no, it was a puppy yeah. basset hound. In Can fact, you, I bet we could get the guy over here. That dog. <laughs> you knew, it wasn't near that That dog was AJ, that big. TJ, no, it wasn't. That was a full-grown basset hound. I don't think it was a full-grown basset hound. TJ, can you put in Brandon Walker driving like a freak? Yeah. Please. You're driving like a freak. <laughs> like a freak. Like How do you drive like great. a freak? You're driving like a me freak. And in turn, almost killed a little helpless basset hound. <laughs> tiny. tiny Admit you were girl. driving like a slow. freak. I hate this motherfucker. I can't believe. <laughs> Why would you even make this up? What, what, what am I making up, Brandon? The dog. Do I never got do? within 75 feet of the dog. Brandon, you keep changing you the number every you time. How, talk how to is anybody like supposed he, to believe you? got to be like Brandon Walker from Barstool Sports. Driving like mostly a freak. Sports, the dog was on the, side, the sidewalk where you were. There was no old lady. How did you almost hit me? That was in the parking lot before we got on the street. The the, the dog was right there next the to me. The dog Brandon. was at the end of the street. We, that we, was we, a, we were walking side yeah. by side. We, we were walking we were. side by side. We were walking side by side. The dog was at the stop sign on the next street. We had to walk Him and a I bit. were walking Whoa. side by side the entire time. Whoa. 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 Is that how Brandon's Brandon. driving? Is that what you saw, Dave? This uh, looks like he looked like a freak. Awful ratio. Now, <laughs> oh, you guys yeah. think Brandon would be a kind of guy to get road rage? Yes. Uh, so that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that is you, Kyle. That's you driving with herpes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Halfway yeah. over. Skip the, skip the weights today. <laughs> I can't believe you drive like a freak. How many feet away was he from the Basset Hound, honestly? 
Probably about 12. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to go measure the goddamn the street. We could do that. It was probably about 12 feet. Pretty close. All right. Was the dog scared? No. Well, he was screaming at him. I'm screaming at you. Did that dog knows that? The yeah, dog definitely doesn't know that. That's a fact. <laughs> I don't think the dog noticed. I had to console him afterwards, but it's all good. He's still a fan of ours. Oh, the owner. A fan? Yeah. The owner of what? The, the dog. dog. Oh. <laughs> He's like, hey, guys, big fan. I'm like, there we go. What's that mean? Can we bring the dog in here to like... You know, well, of course. It was like, a beautiful dog. We should get the dog side. Make and, reparations. And I, want, I want that dog to walk in here and you to straight face say that's not a full grown dog. That dog was was four feet long. Let's get I don't in. think it was. I think it was a puppy. I, 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 I think not it's case, puppy, puppy, case clothes uh, driving like a freak. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I had barely man. started. I, I didn't have my seatbelt on yet. I just got. Whoa, that's a freak. Whoa. That's a freak move. Yeah, that's a freak move. Yeah, yeah. You do that before you put in. in the, I in the barely gear. started driving. It was in the street right here in front of the. We don't even have a street in front of us, but it was whatever that little nub of a street is. <laughs> oh, sounds like you don't know where the sidewalk begins. Oh. A lot of inconsistencies Damn. in a story. Nub of a street. Your story hasn't changed once. That's uh, a sidewalk, once. brother. He keeps a changing nub of the a street. He had me brother. inches away, and then he said twelve feet. You That's said cool. seventy-five and fifty. It was like a hundred. It wasn't. It wasn't twelve. Hundred. A hundred is from here to the golf simulator. What are you talking about? It was like from me to Dan right now. Yeah. May if that, if that, if that, if that. Oh, here we go. What's he doing? He's gonna walk outside and take a picture. Go play each other one on one, first to one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Brandon. Wait, Brandon, Brandon, we don't need a picture. I would love to. I am the first injury of this office. I literally cannot move my arm what? from throwing a wiffle ball. Mm. Can't move it. I my rotator cuff's fucked. I can't lift it. Like if if oh. White Sox save can you just play defense on them for one possession? Who's oh, that, wow. Brandon? If you That's, stop Brandon. Him? <laughs> That's, That's Brandon. That's Brandon. Oh wow. wow! If you stop him, then he's wrong. Brandon, is this what happened? Yeah. DM up. Has Dave seen what Natasha Bedingfield put oh, on her Instagram? One arm. No fouls. No. Dave. Oh, Dave. Dave. Wait, wait, hold wait, on, hold Dave. on, Dave. Dave. Did you see what Natasha can't hear us, I guess? <laughs> He's trying, he tried right, go, go, go play, then we'll pull it up. <laughs> he was acting like he couldn't hear us. Yeah, because he was off the mic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were still two feet away. He muted us. They're still fighting. Yeah. These two... Could start a blood feud over yeah, nothing. They're great. Yeah. Genuinely oh, don't like would. each other. They would kill each other over recess stats. Yeah. They're great together. Oh, I need Dave to win this so bad. I want Dave to dunk on him. <laughs> he could dunk. Could at any point in time. Oh. I know, but how can I, if I can't shoot, I can't play fire play defense. That's good enough. <laughs> That's good. It's <laughs> good enough <laughs> as he airballs it. All right, one possession. That's good. <laughs> no fouls. Fouls don't count. He's going to back him down. Yeah, one possession. Uh, there we go, Dave. Oh, oh Dave. Damn oh. up. Come on, Dave. Let's get Donnie out here fucking naked. <laughs> oh, he's giving him his left. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 There it is. Yeah, that's good. Dude. Brandon was driving like a freak. Oh, you called a foul? Yeah. No, that wasn't. That, that was obviously a foul. You called a foul in one on one? Did you see what he did? Oh, he did. Travel, he travel, it. travel, travel, <laughs> travel. Oh, he's going. Uh oh. Brandon is so much bigger than Dave. It's huge. Ooh. Oh! All right, make the graphic. Brandon was driving like a freak. All he had to do was stop him. Wait, once. does Dave have? Oh, his Dave, yeah, I think he can. I think he has Dave, a chance. Wants, Dave is confident. This is a yeah. ball. <gasps> oh. Oh. Get the rebound, Dave. All right, you were driving like a freak. No, it wasn't. We literally just played a game of basketball to decide it. What did uh, Natasha Bedingfield post, TJ? Oh no! No. Oh, even like the sound effect of it. <laughs> Oh my god, oh. she rocks! Oh, oh my <laughs> god! Hey! Oh! Yo, she oh. sang on him! Boop, 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 Dave, boop, did you boop. see what Natasha Bedingfield posted? Oh, he did. 
You cool with that? It is what it is. That's a good. That's a good way to think about it. Yeah. I'm short and out of shape. <laughs> Clearly. Keep going. Yeah. You were on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> With what? You're on fire. You guys are. You're breathing that heavy from. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Brandon's <laughs> holding his breath. You good? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, you're angry. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm breathing hard. Five thirty. I mean, it's one thirty. Shut. It's one thirty. Oh. I gotta go do an interview. So, Che, you gotta do this. Boss, right now. Also, while we were walking, Dave said, "I embellish for comedic effect." So he lied. He's making shit up now. He lied. He's making shit up. No, driving like a freak is my favorite line ever. Now. Brandon drives like a freak. Like a fucking freak. <laughs> you removed a rib so you could suck your cock as you're driving. You're just a freak. <laughs> Is that Marilyn Manson? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got to go do this interview. Well, he said rapping soon. I could no, do it for actually, cell phone. Do it. I'll tell you exactly. Wait. He did. He's like, right. you can't you afford a $56,000 Jeep Wrangler. That's what he screamed wow. at me. Yeah. No, oh, you shit. said. You s- no, no. Dave, I can't. Oh, he oh, now he's walked leaving. Walked yeah, that was a good That's walk. not what I said. Nah, he got you. I didn't. S- you, Dave. That is exactly what he said. You, you and s- it might be true, and that hurt me. But you, the- you had the walk off. You had the walk off, right? Yeah, the yeah walk can't off. go back. So and, do a and then the mic, and he came and talked <laughs> to a mic that was off. Awful. That's also <laughs> not what I. That's not what transpired at all. He came back to Whatever. strike out. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Are you I'd that love, fired up? I'd love to be in his head for a day. Just so I can appreciate what I got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is ignorance bliss? Let's <laughs> yeah. find out. <laughs> well, Mets will be here soon. Mm. Will he? I think so. what? Yeah. Was <laughs> That's true. He, t- he did text somebody this morning and ask him what time he had to be here for this thing tonight. It's like, just... You just come to work. Yeah, you could <laughs> just yeah. come here. All yeah. day, most of us. I mean, we're open the whole day. You could show up in golf. Oh. That's yeah. all that's re- right. all that's required. Yeah, we are. Uh, Mince is on my trivia team now. Smokin and uh, he's pretty ha- good. He's not bad. We're mm-hmm. having trouble um, figuring out when we're going to play our first match because Ben Mintz is a very busy man. Oh, I yeah. traveling all over. He is the toughest United to schedule. States. Yeah. I heard about the Halloween one. Yeah. Yeah. Did we talk about it on on the ad? I don't think so. I don't think so. The Halloween you guys were supposed to play on Halloween, but he said he might end up going somewhere. Yeah. So you had couldn't do it? Yeah. yeah. And we just uh we're we're supposed to record he's going somewhere this weekend again. Um Oh he's going to Ole Miss, Georgia. Yeah. I would assume. So he's He's played from like the, the outfield of a baseball game. Yeah. Trivia. Yeah. <laughs> and like No, he's done he's done it from a cranberry bog. He he's always just somewhere doing it. Bog, yeah. Does he get flown out to these things like an NBA side piece or is he like just traveling? I think he's dying? just traveling. Old Miss isn't like we need Ben Mintz here. They might be. I don't know. They might be. I I don't I I'm not privy to that information. Where does where is he on the distinguished alumni of Ole Miss? Non athletes. Uh top fifteen. I don't know. Top he probably probably top ten. Wow. Who's I mean, your he's got best good outside blessing. of sports? Who's your best Us? Alum, um John Grisham probably? Your wow, Mississippi great one. State is John Grisham. Yeah. Any in business? Uh yeah, we got we got some business guys. Yeah. A lot of weathermen. A lot of weathermen. Yeah. Who's the, who's the right black on. sheep? Uh, mm, probably the two students that joined ISIS a few years that's ago. That's right. That's right. I've asked you that before. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wait, you had two people that joined ISIS? Shit. Yeah, two, right. two, two students that joined ISIS. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, they, 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 were, they had to drop out of school to go to ISIS, so they're not really Who's the West yet. Virginia, the WVU, like, uh, like Ohio State is Jeffrey Dahmer, I think. That'd you think? The guy. Yeah, ours is Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's so much work. <laughs> Temple's got Bill Cosby. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. We have a serial killer from like the th- maybe not a serial killer, but a bank robber from the '30s. Bank robbers in the '30s were awesome, though. Yeah. You know, like that's yeah. that's actually babyface fucking Elliot, awesome. Maybe. Like you can get away with shit. Then. Yeah. What's who's Kent State's bad guy? Oh. Uh, 
People didn't like gun the gun girl, obviously. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, the she shit herself, right? They had something worse than that, though, didn't well, they? Well, that those people that didn't go the, there. Those oh. weren't students. Those were not college students uh, at all. The students were the victims, Brandon. I didn't know that. I thought it was a student yeah. that did that. Yeah, but a good joke. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> wasn't really. Yeah, I mean, like, it's yeah. a, kind of it's an a, informational a, topic. Ha ha! Uh, you know, I wasn't what, joking. You know, I wasn't like, trying to do a rim shot there. I was just Jesus. trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the National Guard gunned down a lot of our alumni. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> Damn, I'm... Remember when you made me read a Kent State joke? Yeah, it was, it was bad. Yeah. We still have that one we're sitting on. I tried to put it out for Black Friday. I tried to do that. Put what yeah. out? Uh, we did our college football roast segment, oh. which was just turned into jo- very ne- off-color it jokes. Never, uh, they aired. wouldn't let us put That's it out. That's right. Yeah, we they, sp- were ve- they were not off-color. They were... The, the <laughs> right. they were on it what is the uh what is the black friday plan around here do we come into the office like what what's uh, the friday cyber, well, monday's cyber the big day the cyber monday is the big yeah. day yeah. yeah if you're not locked in for all day on cyber monday you need yeah. to be tweeting a lot on friday and then absolutely be tweet on ass. friday but i can stay home and watch there's football on friday now, yeah there's right? football there's, on they, friday. Gotta, they gotta yeah i doubt on. the office will be open that friday yeah is it open until Thanksgiving Day? Probably. It'll probably be open. I don't know. Did it close? It might have closed the Half Wednesday day, of Thanksgiving. Wednesday, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're doing a yak that day, though. So, Okay. And we might, well, huh? we might pre-tape on mostly sports. So, oh, yeah. Are we, yeah. You want to do that on Wednesday? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I guess we could talk about that off the air. No, you'd be talking about it on the air. Hey, Dave. People, come though. on, have a seat. Hey. We have somebody that wants to talk to you. Che, if you want to come out here and do it, you don't have to sit Che, why don't you step out? You sit here. and Dan, Dan's gone to do an interview. Stephen Che has something to say to you. He made a, a mistake earlier, and uh, it's really his responsibility to take care of this from here on out. Do you think he threw us under the bus for being underdressed for today? No. You don't think so? No. When he bragged about being one of the top 25% of best dressed people? Well, I didn't agree. I mean, uh, most we're dressed all dressed up. like slobs, so I don't think there's anything to brag about. I just don't think he enhanced his look by any It's a great. t-shirt with a suit. Correct. Jacket. And he's it's wearing a, a hat. shirt. I don't know. You keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Promoting You're the just brand. not dressed up. That's all. Like, I saw you this morning, I asked, and then I saw Rudy do the same. I saw you, and I said... Um, why are you wearing a coat? And you said that I'm dressed up. I go, you're not dressed up. I like just throwing a coat on a on a trash outfit doesn't automatically mean you're dressed it, up. It might do more harm than good because it draws attention to you. Mm-hmm. You look weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, like I said to you upstairs, I'm not going to be the person that underdresses for a client event and then gets roast for it. And I also said I am more dressed up than you. But again, I'm not trying to be dressed. I'm wearing a sweatshirt, and like, it's not hard to be more dressed well, what, up. The data, the you, figure, the stats. You have something to say. <laughs> yes. So I said it was in the top 25% best dressed. Brandon went around the office. We found 12, 11, 11, mm-hmm. 11 people more dressed up than me. So my number appears to have been incorrect. That's what I wanted me to tell you. That's what I got called in here for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. It's surreal. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just thought, you know, he, he presented that number as like empirical and it was wrong and I, I felt like he owed you an apology. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. He hasn't apologized though. See, yeah. See. I, I apologize for potentially misrepresenting. I don't know how many people we have in here. It's yes. bigger. You're just not dressed up. That's all there is no. to it. And for, I think, like I said, for this office, I am dressed up. Well, no. you, again, you're wearing a t shirt and jeans. You're and wearing camouflage. I, but, but I told you I have an outfit in the car that I'm changing that's into. That's true. Adding one believe. dress accessory. If I was just wearing a top hat right now, where right. I'd be dressed up. No! No! Yeah. no. If you were wearing a top hat. <laughs> with, he, with he, but he, he, it would have the same effect. It would draw like you kind of look like a clown. <laughs> and I'm not saying you look like a clown, but you... you Again, I've, I saw it because I saw Rudy walk up and do the same thing. He's like, why do you get that on? No, there isn't, like, why are you dressed up? It's like, why do you have that sport coat over your trash outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Promoting the brand while also trying to look classy. Look like I care, which I do. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't throw anyone under the bus. I didn't mention any names. I just said, 
look around. But, but, but just throwing everybody, throwing everybody, throwing everybody under the bus. But are we supposed to be dressed up for this? I I, I'd rather err on the side of caution and be overdressed okay. and underdressed. The, the caution being his judgment. Well, I wasn't even. I'm not no, here not for even. that. Like people, yeah. I don't even think people are aware I was going to be here. I, I had to film BFFs. I'm here for the basketball tomorrow. But like, I would this event that's going on. That was not why I'm here. I did not know you were here today. So, yeah. yeah. Right. So when you say thrown in the butt, whatever it is, what it is. I have a different question just for everyone here. What's going on with the plain girl who, like, every time I look at. <laughs> Uh, social media hey, Tiffany Gomez it's weird it, it trust, honestly yeah. it's 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 not good for the Chicago. it's like I can't tell what's going on it just makes I, in my mind the what entire does it Chicago, look like you think we're you using her as a crutch perverts uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 using yeah. her as like a it, it's a like set, the, it's yeah. like the new max oh, well I think it's a PMT thing it's not a yak thing it's not an us yeah. thing we haven't out here her. in Chicago yeah, we, haven't we, we haven't met her I haven't seen her I've never even seen her she's not real I didn't see her they interviewed her for part of my take Correct. Then she did. Uh, she stayed for the live stream the same night. And then, then she was like with Hank. Hank PFC. She went, out, she went, went to, to a game. And then and then I saw like a sweater. Pay. It's like everywhere I looked, I felt like I I just she was just popping up everywhere. I couldn't tell. I I honestly was like, is PFT divorced? Is <laughs> Hank dating her? Like I couldn't tell what was going on. <laughs> Is Hank dating I, her? It seems to be is, that. Is I, he literally I, I don't know. to be a Hank I don't thing. know where the joke ends. He's, I tried to ask this that's earlier. That's a question. Can we ask, is Hank dating things? her? He's, I, he's, I think he... He's I not, get, not dating her? He, he loves the idea of nobody knowing right now. I do think he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's relishing and in, in like, yeah, I don't know. Am There's I? no mm. way. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I, it, I, was, I, by the way, I would tell people. I just was on BFFs. Yeah. And it was... It was a topic on the sheet, like because she went on PMT, which I don't even understand why she's on PMT. This is such an old story. Mm -hmm. Whatever, fine. Hank wants a date or whatever it may be. <laughs> um, but I, then Grace said at their live show, they and I've been to one of the um, one of Grace and Bree's live shows, and they do a segment where people in the audience come up and say their most embarrassing story or what have you. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls came up and said she was dating a guy for three years and it turned out the guy was dating plain girl at the same time. Oh, she, maybe that's yeah, Hank who fucking stuff. knows. Oh no. But an interesting yeah. tidbit on plain girl. Yeah, I guess so. You think she might be trying to like get a job here or something? I, I honestly don't. I don't know. It's very She's few times. Like I have no. Well, idea. I asked Dan. I go, what is going on? And he was I'm, like, I'm not really oh, sure. You I asked. Think, I yeah, asked. Yeah. And you guys were like, what yeah, you, I think it might be a touchy subject. With who? I don't know. Because I don't know <laughs> anything either. I also love that Clinton Portis was just sitting. He next was there to too. Yeah. 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 It's like an inside joke that I'm not in on, and I get that it's for somebody, but I, I'm just kind of like. Not it, really fully sure what's going but on. But I think she She's was only doing here. all the right things, though, she, because after that, I don't know well, what your next move is. She was only here for the one day, but they just got, got a lot of stuff out of her. And then, then they, they went they to that went game. To football game. So they did two things. That was the next but day. I don't think they've, like, I don't think she's been around, like, every day. And like, then, it seems and, like she has. And the sweater then, picture was from that night. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, 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 lover boy. Hey, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, you guys definitely <laughs> did. You. Are you dating her? I like to keep my private life private. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I told uh, no. 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 So it's just a giant bit. What? Life is a bit, Dave. I don't. I don't understand what <laughs> what you're talking about. Like we, she came. She was a she was a lovely guest on the podcast. She came, and then we went <laughs> to a game together and had fun. Why'd you go to a game? Uh, like friend? Like you just met her. That day, I met her on Thursday, which is when you filmed it, and then you went to the north. Like, what was the point of going to the game? Why set? does she want to go to an Iowa you guys Northwestern? Do that with game. all your guests, right? yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> Hank, I've been on PMT a thousand times. You've never asked me to go to a. We've hung out. We, we have hung out. You've never asked me to go on a go to a game together. She was. Just, she was like, house. I'm in Chicago. Like, what's there to do? I was like, we can go to the the Cubs. I mean, the yeah, boy, Iowa like, Northwestern game. And you would do that for any Dave's, guests? I don't. I don't get why Dave's such a hater. I, it really it boggles Dave, my mind. I mean, it was insane engagement every time they posted. And all the posts were ads. He yeah. said that about the sweatshirts. We mo <laughs> moved no sweatshirts. I tried. I can't. I can't. Fuck. All I can do is try, Dave. That's all I can do. <laughs> I don't know. There's. Uh, are you trying? Like, are you actually though? Like, trying to talk to her? Uh, we talk as friends. We're friends. We <laughs> Have chat. you texted her today? No. 
talked on the phone a couple times. Ooh. So you are. Uh, because, uh, yeah. 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 There's no the reason for you to yes. talk to yeah. her yeah. Yeah. further right. than the Correct. professional commitment, right? Right. So you're trying. You, why can't I? You can't make friends? <laughs> you're not allowed to make friends, Dave? Like, I, you, you, want, you want me to tell you who I'm allowed care. to be friends with no, and not no, be friends with? No, no. I, that you've already answered the question. You are interested in pursuing her or else you won't still be talking to her. I personally think you're able to have, you know, friendly relationships with women without having to be pursuing them. When's yeah. the last time you you texted a first time PMT guest two days after their appearance? I don't know, probably like Julian Edelman, Gronk, anyone I'm a big fan of. Mm -hmm. You're a big <laughs> fan, of, fan of her. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> I'll just say this: it, the thing that was it, it, that made it strange is her event, which she went viral, was like well in the past. Like the plane, like those things move so fast. If it's not the next day, forty eight hours, it's generally like who cares? And all of a sudden, it's like we got playing. It's like. You mean the plain girl from like a couple months ago? Like that was strange. That one I can't. That I I would have to pass off on PFT. I had no contact with her before. And I was not way, trying like to PM, book her on the show. PMT is a hugely successful, very large like podcast. You guys don't generally have. I feel like the lead guest as a one day internet famous person from months ago. It was the number one episode we've done in the past like three months. Yeah. But you don't Numbers usually matter. do that. I mean, you you PFT, could PFT PFT. You, you PFT. should you should then you know what you should do. You should get only only uh, Glenny Ball's booking agent. Like if you guys start getting the only stands girls in, I bet those will do big numbers too. Well, there's a big difference between being a, a viral sensation and selling your body on OnlyFans. I think, but uh, it seems like the same. I mean, how how Brandon? I mean, the both tell. internet. I mean, it's she just... doesn't she didn't choose to go viral. But the OnlyFans <laughs> girls are... But the vir virality of it have come and gone, That's right? But you said it was the number one episode? People were interested. People loved me taking pictures with her. She And first of all, she asked me for a picture. She was like, we well, got to take a picture. Is she, was she trying to get a job here? No. She's got. She's self-employed. She's killing can, it. Would you consider? What's she doing? No. no. I don't... You're... you're I've never seen such hate from you. I, it sounds a little, it like, was, it seems I like you're jealous. I don't really know what's going it on. It was everywhere. I took, t we, I posted two pictures in like four days. And yeah, we were the number one podcast. It was a big episode, so it probably was out there, you know, in the ether. But PFT was the one that initially <laughs> talked to her and was like, I, "We got to get her in. We got to get her in." And then my original I conversation, met her, I was, met her my when original she was conversation on the with Dan. I'm like, "What is going on?" And he was actually like, "I, I actually don't know how we got here." Yeah, no, me. That's <laughs> how I felt. It was just like PFT was the one <laughs> that set it like all that? up. <laughs> and then they, well, they asked me, they're like, "Will you sit on in the interview?" And I was like, "Okay." I've never sat in an interview in my life. And then the interview was them like trying to set us up. So it was kind of like. My posts were basically a play off of the podcast where like they were like, oh, like you guys really like each other. We love Hank. So I was kind of playing into it, but I very much am like not, you know, if I was in a relationship, I would not be posting about it. If I had a girlfriend, I would not be posting about it. So to me, it was like me posting these pictures with her is kind of like a sign that it's just content, but clearly people are not. Well, well, I, devil's advocate. It's like. It's not a relationship yet, but you're like, hey, see that picture? It's like an excuse to talk and then slowly develop. So, I, I mean, I don't care. Good for you. You I just clearly care. No, you clearly care. No, I mean, I, like, you don't it, want me to find love. It's fine. You can have plain girl love. I It, it was very noticeable from afar. That's Why do you a, think it was the, the number one episode you guys have done in a while? If you had to put, if you had to explain, is, is there like an appetite for her? Content? Wait, has like, she do, do, is before? she? I will admit. Is that she? I, is she like the most famous person in this country? And I didn't realize it. Yeah, right. Clearly, I mean, I, I don't, I don't understand why people do what they do. I just look at the numbers, and it's like. But that's why I'm, football, I'm asking football, you, like, football, football, to try girl. to try to try to figure that out now. Like, try to answer that. Like, why do you think so many people listen to that? Is it just that that she's? Is she really that? I think it was a big mystery. I think people like the conspiracy theory of like, she saw like a, an entrance to the fourth world and she's somehow <laughs> she's, concealing that she's enlightened and, and that that somehow that was going to come out and it wasn't just like she was like uh, you know took a pain See, i feel like i'm pretty out. good at the internet and i didn't feel like there was this burning desire to hear from plain girl i guess i was wrong yeah i think it yeah, does move fast where you forget about her 
like quickly, but I still was wondering what what went down. Yeah, I thought I she was, had said she before, I was already too. like the, that she the reveal had a was a bad nothing. moment. That's what it was. That's because she, I, I saw her. I, she was selling. Yeah. She was selling like costume. Like I'd seen her pop up a couple times, and then there was nothing like crazy. So I guess she'll come that, on BFFs. That, no, we move too fast. <laughs> I can ask her. I guess that was what yeah, was yeah, so a good. I'm sure you need a reason to test. That was what <laughs> that was what sparked my thing. Where I'm like, this is confusing because it just didn't seem like something PMT would be remotely interested. In, like months after the fact but if hank were to start dating her you would support that right yeah i could care less yes, i would don't let that that's why i was just i was just asking like what is going on to dave's, just, to know, dave's two point, people that love big 10 football to dave's point it'd be like having <laughs> like in january you have the chargers the crazy chargers lady fan on the show which like kind of makes sense but it just feels like a little bit it's so out of left field uh, yeah. like if you had it right away i'd be like oh they got it's just she went from out of the public eye for six months to for a span of 24 to 48 hours running barstool yeah i think that, that was that you can probably chalk up to pft pft was like replying to a lot of her tweets for a while and then i think they started messaging and he was like come to the come to the office and then i think he he was like wait till we're in the new office so that's why i got you know pushed off so long but yeah i i just came in one day and we're like plain ladies here and then we sparked a fantastic friendship <laughs> okay <laughs> all right you guys have damn daniel next week <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. exactly. good yeah you're good yeah, yeah, i'm happy this is great <laughs> proud of you boss man oh man so, while we're getting people in here can we get pete in here is pete here yeah we can oh, text I don't him know. i'd love to know why he's getting quoted in <laughs> Newspapers. Uh, I like, think he's in the tech room. We didn't talk in. about that. Wait, what? Yeah, he got quoted. Where was it? He, the entire article was about him talking about basically the entire ethos of Barstool, why we do the basketball tournament, what some of our goals, you know, areas we're trying to get in, like the future of Barstool. It was <laughs> quite interesting. Did you know he was doing this? No, of course not. What? Yeah. What? Meanwhile, we can't get the internet to work in New York. What publication was it? It was uh, Mississippi. The Clarion, the Clarion Ledger. Yes. Why would the cl what? Clarion yes. open? <laughs> why would they, why would they be talking to Pete about bar? Why would they be talking about Barstool at all? Well, it's a basketball tournament. Oh, Mississippi State. Okay, yep. yeah, that makes sense. All right. Um, but why they were talking to Pete and why he was answering is a different question, which I'm curious to find out. Because he, we've had a lot of back and forth on him. Where is he? Yeah. Uh, Oh, they're yeah, already in the truck. I, I've accused him of being like Nazi Germany, where he thinks there's a vacuum. When he thought there was a vacuum in power, he tried to suck mm -hmm. it all up, <laughs> which seems he denies it. But, I mean, I can read some of the quotes there. I don't know what he was doing. How did you find the article? Was he retweeting it? No, it just came up. I saw it. It was, I have it. Uh, someone sent it to me. <laughs> He's quoted throughout it. Uh, <laughs> so he did like a full phone conversation interview. He had to have. Um, and he's described, and I don't think he corrected them according to him, uh, because I've heard him try to defend it that said they got his title wrong. I got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> so um, between an interview with a fan who dozed off in the stands during the first half and Dan, Big Cat, Cats, and Portnoy stressing about their over-under, mm -hmm. Mississippi State's winning against Akron, winding down last year. Uh, the event provided a glimpse into new ways for programs to exposure. We felt we could do something kind of unique and interesting. Barstool's head of media and technology, Which Peter Overmeyer, absolutely not told what the Clarion he is. <laughs> head of media. That's <laughs> oh man. It, it, by the way, he's quoted about a hundred times in his article. I'm trying to find all the quotes. It's a long article. It's complimentary. Overmeyer said we get to involve him in halftime preparation, promotions, and kick off that first full season with him in college basketball. I don't know who him is. Uh, it's certainly a unique unique opportunity for him and his brand to be associated with the actual game broadcast. The results of it. What is he talking about? <laughs> the results crazy. of this they'll be talking about in March when they're doing their selections. 
Anything new kind of gets looked a little bit closely, but nothing where it was problematic, Overmeyer said. It was just kind of just making sure that everything was taken care of. We are just, in many ways, a media company, same as anyone else. Once you get over the interest, oh, what is this? You kind of just peel back, just see the great media company, production company that uh, does well on these broadcasts. It's like a chat GPT answer. I don't... Uh, uh, it, it, the Barcelona Invitational could provide that for Mississippi State players. If they have a great performance, they're going to get a lot of publicity off our social, our promotion, our highlights, things like that across the network, Overmeyer said. Um, and it goes on and on. Uh, it, 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 it just quote after quote from him on things that he has absolutely nothing to do with. Did he, say, did he say Yes, he talks wrong? for Barstool now. No, not necessarily, he but just, he, yeah. how did they I, even get his contact? Like to reach out to him, he's definitely not the head of media. Let's clarify <laughs> that. <laughs> he's a tech guy. He Pete, mm. Pete Overmeyer is our tech guy. That's yeah. plugs and uh, computers. Wait, well, we got him. Okay. Hey, Pete. Hello. So you're the head of media now, Pete? No. So what was that <laughs> article about? I haven't read it. You're quoted literally throughout the entire thing speaking as though you are the head of media let me get his title it's barstool's head of media and technology peter overmeyer that's i know i mean that's a typo I, and i <laughs> typo. <laughs> <laughs> what, at any point where you like i'm not you know that i'm not you know that i know that i'm not well that's you but you correct. you seem to speak as though you were throughout the article <laughs> I was I was talking about the great basketball event we have tomorrow night, Wintrust Arena, tip off at six o'clock central. Tickets still available. We have a ton of people going. The guys from the Yak are playing Yak basketball at halftime of the first game. Would love everybody to come out. Uh, How did you get, get connected to, to this reporter? I think it we kind of don't like have like a comms department, but but so I you just check that game. email you just check the cut co- anything that gets sent into comms and you're like oh, i'll just answer that one i'll no, handle this no some they they invited me to the meeting and i went to the meeting and i talked to to the guy he wanted to talk about mississippi state and the brandon and, and the basketball game why didn't he why would you go to that meeting why why wouldn't he just reach out to brandon why didn't he reach out to me <laughs> i think it it was it was more about Mississippi State. I think he was covering okay. it from a Mississippi State okay. angle, not a Brandon angle. Well, I just you just yeah, said which Brandon. you couldn't you couldn't speak to the Mississippi State angle. No. Um, so wait, Pete, you're <laughs> such a busy guy. You took time to go to this meeting to talk to a reporter from the Clarion Ledger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why? To kind of just promote the basketball game that we're doing. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. My stomach's been clenched for like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm messaging I, well, the reporter. I hate, I hate doing that stuff. Hate it, and I won't do it again. You keep saying that we've had that conversation. How much you hate this stuff, but yet you keep doing it. I no. This was uh, this. I was told to do this in February, so we're. No, no, no. Told to do the, the show up. You Nobody told you to show up to meet the Clarion Ledger reporter to talk no. about the tournament. I think no, that's, I that, that's Petey Brightlights likes to see his <laughs> oh, name no. in the Brightlight. National Geographic. You like to see your name in print. <laughs> I haven't even read it because I would be mortified to read it. I don't like doing it, but I think it's important to promote the big stuff that we do i think it's good to get that out there people see it they like to do business with us we make more money Got that's it. what that's all i want to do Got it. okay i i if you say so i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it anymore. you're not gonna go wait what was it a luncheon a, a lunch where'd you meet the reporter you said i thought you said you went to something like over zoom oh it was a zoom call i just went to just went to a meeting yeah yeah, well, all right, all right, Zoom meetings. I thought when you said you went yeah, to a Zoom meeting. meeting. Yeah, sorry, just Got a it. Zoom meeting. Got it. Did they know what your actual title was? I'm not I'm not sure. Because when you really think about a reporter being like, I'm doing this story on why Barcelona's doing something, you wouldn't think they'd speak to, like, the IT guy. Right. I also wonder how the reporter even got that title that he arrived at. Well, that that's connected. He thought... He thought it was a typo, though. 
He, the, 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 he yeah. said I'm the tech guy, and then he went to type tech guy, and, and it, it actually said, came yeah, out. He said, yeah, head of media. Head of media. Yeah. yeah, there's a typo. It's a classic way too fast. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> that is what the reporter thought. If you're speaking to the head of media, that's the right guy for that interview. If it's just the head of technology, it probably mm. isn't. So who's someone that would have a green light to do that here at Barstool? That's a good question. That would probably this to me would have been probably a Brandon interview yeah I thought it would have been too he didn't reach out to me yeah like if you're going yeah. where someone's so cl yeah. clearly it's the Mississippi State team it was also weird that his, the first name he put in the story was was, was you, mine correct but he never reached out to me but that's okay I just messaged him to see how he came to interview people oh no that's uh that's the liberal media for you yeah, the liberal Jackson, Mississippi, Mississippi media. Yeah. <laughs> right. that, was, that was quite an interesting read. You got anybody else you want to talk to? No, that was it. Those, those were the things that I noticed. All right, thanks, Pete. Thanks, Pete. It was right. interesting timing never when again. the well, you, I've never heard again. never. I've heard Soon never you again. Keep saying it. I've heard never again quite a bit from you recently. What, and, have, what have I said never again that I've done again? Uh, predicting how many tickets we'd sell at events, negotiating the YouTube deal. Yeah, you did. You told us we'd be sold out by now. The, you told us we I'm not negotiating another YouTube deal. I didn't predict how many tickets we were going to sell. Yes, I you said did. It was a revenue. The tickets are a revenue opportunity. No, you said we'd sell out <laughs> instantly. I didn't say that we'd sell out. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you but did. there are some tickets still available tomorrow night, Wintrust Arena, uh, six o'clock tip off. Uh, uh, Loyola, Chicago, Sister Jean in attendance, FAU, Final Four team, lost at the buzzer, first game since the uh, buzzer beater, top 10, ready to come back and start their march to the tournament in Chicago tomorrow night. Pretty good. That it's is pretty good. I won't pretty lie. Good. That's Peace pretty out. good. Head of new media. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you're in Chicago, if you can hear my voice, come on down tomorrow. Well, people not in Chicago can hear your voice. Yeah, there are some. They can tune in Barstool TV and mm -hmm. YouTube Barstool Sports. Oh, we set you and up. And if you're yeah. in Chicago, did. come on down, and we're gonna have a great time. I I absolutely refuse to believe he doesn't love seeing his name in print, or else mm. why would you agree I, to do that you, Zoom? If, if, yeah. If you know me at all, I, I think I, I do. I hate it. No, yeah, I right. Hate it. That yep. You hate it. You I don't, hate being a character just, so much, I, Pete. The way you you're hate it. it. <laughs> you hate 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 I, it. <laughs> you can't hide the joy in your face yeah, right now. You, call, you called in pretty quick. I know. I know. He was on immediately. Real quick. Real quick. You guys texted me and called me. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I did not try to come on just yet. Yeah. But, uh, all right. Never again. And Barstool Sports second annual invitational tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Trust Arena. Be there. All right, thanks, All right, Pete. You can go, Pete. You won't hang up either. <laughs> yeah, see you, Pete. <laughs> Try to get rid of him ten times. See ya. Yeah, so swing by tomorrow. Pete will be doing a meet and greet as well. <laughs> All right, Pete. Oh, this, is the head of, this is the head of the media. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> it was very odd. He, well, when he said never again, that's an that's an excuse that you give after you do something. He said that never you love. since I've reacquired Barcel, he has said never again. And I've told you because everything it's like, why the fuck are we doing this? How'd this happen? It was always Pete, Pete, Pete. It's like, why is he making marketing decisions or sales decisions or like we should do this event or do that? And and he just got power hungry. He saw our vacuum and he sucked it up. <laughs> I think I found the typo. His LinkedIn says head of media technology and production at Barstool Sports. Okay. That's where the guy. Oh, oh. Head of just, media he paused so after. The, the typo yeah, is accidentally yeah. on I'm his LinkedIn. Media. It's accidentally. Technology. Why, it's a ridiculous stone. title. Like, we don't even have titles. Why does he have such a weird ass title anyway? If Pete had a title, it wouldn't be that IT right? IT guy. Yeah. <laughs> So is it head of media did, technology or head of media technology? Head of media technology there a slash? and production. No, oh, honestly, so his, head of technology. honestly, his title, he's the, he, he's the CTO. He's the chief technology mm -hmm. officer. Where did all business P good. moniker come from? Was that self-assigned? Did someone call him that? I don't, I don't know how that started. It, it has very much to do with he's had this. He likes to see his name in lights. So I think it had early if i'm not mistaken he just started trying to become part of content more and it was like all business stay with like yeah. i believe that is how it came but i about. think that might feed into it is that he just keeps being called all business pete and he's like yeah i am 
all the business yeah. here. I, I'm I am. the guy. I do all. He I do everything here. Content. You know. He yeah. loves Wait, so he has prior content. offenses of bogarting the bright lights. <laughs> yeah, with the with the yak, I had to. But he hates being. Maybe I think he fetishizes seeing his name. In, but he in he went through a period where he's on the yak like every single day and i mean the lights weren't on he pretends the, to hate the yak he loves it like he walks by the yak and he's like oh no yeah, no, no, right. no 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 don't I'm pull not me in yeah. don't, don't make do me take this. my pants off. Right. <laughs> and again you gotta remind that like while he is gallivanting uh across the globe doing these interviews and he loves doing grandiose production and things that he loves being scorsese and spielberg <laughs> on these things it's like we have no Spit. need for it so you know he likes the power he likes to be the guy with the wand in the truck waving people around <laughs> well, we don't we just don't need it like yeah. he, he we're, go back to like basics so um like i i don't think i think this will be our live last rights event venture ever like this then the or arizona bowl then we're gonna be out of live events business that was what's the major reason for that it's too expensive yeah like we we fucking get whack doing it um and for what yeah L like to me I, we bring more value to everyone around it but we're not making money on it and it's quite time consuming mm -hmm. and we have other things we can be doing so i'd be very surprised if we ever do live events again mm -hmm. We'll outside see. of merch what's the most profit for the least amount of work uh, it can vary all over i mean if you get the right ads obviously you know that is super profitable uh but i mean i we do live event but we don't make people treat us we're in something that's different like i saw a proposal that um we turned down with the i don't want to say and again this came from pete Pete begging us to do it. It was um, the Arena Bowl, I believe. Oh, yeah. Was interested in us maybe like doing Monday Night Football type stuff, being the broadcast. It's like, but we weren't making money doing it. Yeah. It was maybe a rev share. It's like, I, I try to look at us. I'm not saying we're this guy or that guy, but, you know, are the Monday Night crew doing Monday Night Football for free? No, they're getting paid tens of millions of dollars a year. We have, why would we go do something? where we're bringing all our audience and we're not getting paid for that. So we're going to stop. Pete wants to do it. Pete, Pete has no idea how to run a company. He just knows how to mm -hmm. plug wires into the wall and make things work, <laughs> which he's very good and at. And talk to reporters. And he's indispensable at it. But like the, the, the finances of what's going on, he doesn't totally always get. Just being big and beautiful and bold and all this great stuff with the Arizona Bowl, everything we do comes out of our pot. Who fucking cares? Yeah. So... Um, he likes the pageantry. Yeah, loves it. Like, yeah, it's like yes. Sass going to do a show in Portland for no money. Or Francis, we get a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He does what? Was, was that inappropriate? No. Huh. No. Sass will do it for the love of the game. So, so will Francis, won't he? Yeah. I guess that's a stand-up life in the beginning, right? Yeah. You know, most of stand up. I lose money. Yeah. Yeah. Luke yeah. will go to. I'll go. What's your I... profit margin looking like? Negative ten thousand. Have you ever met Mook? <laughs> yeah, we've passed. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've get, given you some head nods. I didn't know that you were like content. I kind of production, social content. He kind of just landed here a little bit. Yeah. He kills yeah. it for us. He does a lot. Yeah. yeah. Produce anus. Very funny. Obviously, guy. if you're doing stand up, you want to be in front of camera, not behind it. I appreciate that full body. I don't know if that's what he meant. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think that, I don't think that <laughs> was in his work. Jesus. Uh -oh. I'm shitting myself. <laughs> yeah. the fuck? I'm going to tell whether that was a joke. That was weird. Not. I don't know. He, he, uh, uh -oh. Yeah, he balances it well. It just happens. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> Very interesting. No, I could see you two getting along well. <laughs> yeah. I think we'd be boys. That's like um, the thespian, right? He wants to be front of camera. You're talking about uh, Max. Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who I actually hired. I don't know if people know that. Yeah, you hired him. He did a, he was in my a original, video edit of me. Yeah, yeah, he was in the original batch of, like, to be my Austin, basically. Um, I don't know how he ended up where he is, but. Was Chef Donnie one of those guys, too? <laughs> no. I don't know how Chef Donnie got in here. He was Donnie. He was other Donnie. He was guy. other Donnie. Was Rudy yeah. your guy for a little bit? Rudy tried. Couch crew was uh, Dylan Sad Eyes, Carolina Mark, Max, Matt Ola. Oh, Matt yeah. Ola. Yeah. 
There's one more. That was the first college football Saturday. Yeah, yeah. he was golfing. Yeah. <laughs> TJ, you had a, a brief tryout to be no, or, or no, you he thought refused, about it, or no. you refused to try. Out. Refused. That's right. That's he right. was a mooch guy no. at the time. Disavow. <laughs> he disavowed. Mm. He's done it multiple times. It's like I can't work for Dave. I, I, I'm my allegiance is to mooch. <laughs> 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 I don't think he ever said that per <laughs> se. Charlie well, was well, no, no. I don't I think he ever actually said that. Actually, he did. Did he? No. Yes. No, very, he didn't. Very publicly, he did. He, he said he supported the guy out the door, but he hey, didn't take a shot at you. you. I don't know how Barstool is ever going to be the same without the Mooge dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's disavowed multiple times. No, he's fine. I, he's, I'm, I'm, we're on good terms. Good. We weren't for nice. a long time. That, that, that was a pretty egregious error in my book. Agreed. Okay. There we he go. agrees. Yeah. So yeah no, good. we're fine. I, TJ and I are fine, no doubt. Or, um, are me and you fine? Yep, we're fine. What are we doing here? We're, we're, we're talking it, to them. I, I know, but like, we're are we? Check, check it like, full I'm time. checking. Yeah, it's just trying all, to start fights. I'm Brandon. checking. I don't, <laughs> Titus, you weren't here for that. I need to check every now and then. I just then, feel just like check. it's like performance review time. I was just asking. With Dave. And, uh, Briefly asking. Yeah. I don't hold, like, I, I was never, I mean, Bram was dumb. I, I Correct. It, it is what it is. Yeah. Just want to do a little. That was a very. Know, you're like going around the room. Six month check in. Like, yeah. That was a very different fuck up than what? Mm -hmm. TJ did. Much more serious. Pop-up, yeah. you're doing great. Shut great. up, Moog. You're doing great. What is that? Uh, Sounds like an airplane. I don't like it. Would you uh, get a place in Chicago? No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, how often are you going to be in the mix here, you think? Probably football, football season, obviously, a lot more. Um, and when there's things going on. But I would see not football, me going to New York more than Chicago. Yeah. Um, are you staying here all week before we go to Texas? On this no, weekend? I'm doing uh, – I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. Okay, that's fine. I have a commitment Thursday, so i got to go. Yeah. And I don't want to fly because I want to watch Michigan. They're playing Penn State. So I'm going to go right. Friday night so I can watch And you're going to be there early. Yes. They're, still, they're playing that game? They're, they are. They're, they're, okay. They are. By the okay. way, I, no, I, 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 I just, I, yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know if there was any. Buckle up, boys. If there's yeah. any. <laughs> I actually had some uh, a call. I was deep uh, in the Michigan <laughs> propaganda uh, last <laughs> night, and a lot of interesting things I learned. Well, the things they seem to be throwing out there is their defense kind of are Hail Marys, right? They're just acting like there's this anonymous coach that turned in this anonymous stuff where other teams are doing the same thing to them. Well, I, there's no doubt that other teams are doing the same thing. Well, that's fine, but it's not like it, we have a smoking gun like Connor Stallion I, standing I think, on the sideline in Central Michigan. I think, well, that hasn't been proven. <laughs> and I, do you have eyes? Yeah, I have eyes. I thought that, that certainly looked like him to I me. I couldn't. Didn't, well, then why don't they just come out and say it? Why does Central Michigan, if it's not him, why don't they say this is who this guy was? Well, there's a lot of humans on Earth. I just think... <laughs> How I many think, are on Central Michigan I, staff? I, I, think, I think just because <laughs> Central Michigan doesn't know who it is, you can't just say it's that guy. <laughs> how, many, how many universities have people on the sidelines that they don't know? How many? I bet a lot. Yeah. In fact, it's every game because you have the people who come down and you're allowed to sideline passes. They don't know Could who have the been anybody. on there. There's a lot of humans a lot on of Earth humans. is the stupidest and... Prove me it wasn't Vladimir Putin. <laughs> are you denying that there's not a lot uh -oh. of people? Look at Mr. Dressed Up uh, over see? here. Oh, see? Mitzi looks great. 13. Hey, hey. He Brick watch, man. Um, Have you spoken to Connor Stallions? No, he's gone deep on the ground. Um, I'm dead serious. I'd love to hire well, him. You would love him more if he was guilty, right? I, I love everything about what he's done. I honestly, and people are going to joke, and this is being dead serious, everybody steals signs. Michigan has become very good, and this is sour grapes. And, and, and uh, to the point of what Michigan's saying now, if you're going to now hold this, you could go find teams, every single team, and find versions of them breaking rules to grant to no. get a competitive advantage the only difference is ohio state and crying ryan day has his brother who's an investigator and they launched an investigation well, now wait a minute the ncaa came out and said oh, ryan day i love this ryan day had nothing I to do love. with the ncaa came out and said i love ryan how, day had nothing I to do love, with love 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 how the ncaa is now the bastion of morality and we got to take them out of work they have been roundly criticized by every person in the world as one of the worst most corrupt organizations to ever mm. exist but now suddenly the ncaa we got to take let's take roger goodell's word on concussions please give me a so break. who's the bastion of morality the the team that's accused of cheating the team that we've seen but does coaches? it does it if it, so your argument that that cry and ryan as you call him uh is the one that brought all this up Correct. doesn't that actually make him look pretty fucking badass that he like is going to take down his rivals by 
I have said that's kind of that makes him look awesome. I have said I have no problem with what they're doing. It's all it's all uh, is fair in love and war. Michigan just shouldn't be penalized. Crying Ryan does what he has to do. Michigan's doing whatever. We'll settle on the field November 25th like men, and, and we'll go from there. I, I have no problem. Listen, he's at his wit's end. He can't beat Michigan. He knows he's going to get pummeled. His only chance is to not play the game. So do what you got to do. So if you end up hiring this guy, the Stallions guy, what, what's the first thing you want him to do? Are we publishing the manifesto? No, he... That would be up to him, but he'd be, uh, you know, a code breaker for us. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what that would entail necessarily. <laughs> what codes do we need broken? There's well, probably a lot out there. I'm <laughs> sure there is. Yeah. I'm sure he could be very useful um, for some sort of gambling role or something. Yeah. But, yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Wait, is he, like, in he literal in hiding right now? Like in Pakistan? Who knows? <laughs> He's, he probably he's just got a $10 million check from Michigan to shut his mouth, and he's gone oh, I, 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 I honestly, I don't think he needs a cent. Like, based because on you think every, the love of the game is too I, much. I the love he, of the team is too I, much. He, this is a guy who, from freshman year in high school, knew what he wanted to do with his life. That is the truth. It, he's being penalized for being, like, the most focused, he's being dedicated. being penalized for cheating. Well, not really. He didn't cheat. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's being penalized for. You consider stealing signs cheating. I consider going to the links they did certainly at least – at least mm -hmm. over the line, right? No, I don't think you so. You don't think so? No, because, again, what they're going to have to do is say, all right, anyone can do it. Because you can literally, what he is being accused of doing, mm -hmm. anybody can do. You can sit in the first row. So how are you going to prevent it? But nobody did do it. Anybody yeah. could do. How do you know that? I texted Ohio State's coaches and asked them. They told me they didn't. They <laughs> well, didn't. there you go. Yeah. There you go. I did. I texted them right away, and I was like, you guys didn't. And they're mm -hmm. like, no, we would never. Of course not. So... I don't know how are you to say. I mean, that could be right. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I, right. That's what that's what they told me. They said that we. we and I said, do you, you follow all the rules? And they're like, Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I, I believe the all-time vacated wins record in the Big Ten, Ohio State, twelve vacated wins, Michigan none. Well, yet, yet, yet. Yeah. I don't think that you think they have vacate. Wins. They could. Why? They could. They could suspend I, Harbaugh. I, I, who knows what's going to happen? Again, this week. I've been down this road. I saw this guy uh, who I dealt with during Deflategate, Greg. The fuck's that guy's name from the Indianapolis? Doyle. He's back out of the wood. The same people who can't win on the field cry. It's like why um, would Greg Doyle be worried about Michigan? He said he he tweeted out, "I will. I am a Heisman voter, and I will not vote for JJ McCarthy." Well, I, I mean, I that's agree. just that's just like smart. That could just be a football. I thing. think that's I mean, a football like, thing. He hasn't played JJ McCarthy's just not a not a Heisman. But guy. that that is not what he was saying. He oh. said because of the cheating scandal. Oh. Hmm. Other coaches said the sign stealing accounts for like fourteen points a game. Is that what? Is that, or ten to fourteen? Mm -hmm. Who said that? I think that yeah. that was in an article. At least, Deion at Sanders, least. Deion Sanders said it's all garbage. Meyer. You can FedEx the other guy the playbook. Urban Meyer said garbage. There's a million coaches. No, no, this is no. crying over spilled milk. If if you if so your then job, why would they do it? That's right. what I don't Cheating understand. works. That's why they, they do it. it. Cheating works. That's why so you why cheat. So why would he go to this extent if it gave, if it gave him no advantage whatsoever? Why why put yourself through all this? Everybody's doing it. Okay. Okay, so it, but, it, but, but if, everybody, but if it doesn't make a difference, that's what I can't. If it doesn't make a because difference, then why is everybody doing it? Professional sports, you hunt for any little advantage. So it could give a slight advantage in certain situations. My point is, if everybody's doing it, we have a professional code breaker who literally went to the Marine Corps as a U.S. <laughs> hero just to learn this trait. This He didn't end up at the Naval Academy by accident. He researched where Belichick go. I think he said Bobby Knight. Did, did Saban go to a military school? He listed all these coaches mm -hmm. who, like, coached at military schools. He could have gone to Michigan. He's like, I'm going to become better for Michigan by going to the Naval Academy. The man studied code breaking to get signals. So does it make you question your love for Michigan? Like, you might be a little fraudulent. I've that you never don't love... been stronger. But, I mean, you don't. You obviously don't love it to this extent <laughs> that Connor Stallions does. does, does you, do you ever, have you looked in the mirror and been like, damn, I didn't know – like well, compared, we chose, compared to him, I, I don't chose, seem to give a yeah, fuck. No, we chose different career paths for sure. But now I, I've said this to Michigan. I will use every um, every vehicle at my disposal to prove Harbaugh's innocent. I love the way the, the school is acting. Mm -hmm. The president is acting. We're all behind Jim. But um, wait a minute. They're not even trying to prove Harbaugh's innocent. They're just saying, fuck you. You can't do anything yeah. about it. 
That's well, all they're saying. They're not even trying to prove they're anything. They're actually trying to uphold the Constitution is what they're trying what to do. What Constitution? <laughs> of the United States of America? <laughs> yeah, innocent before guilty. Oh, my God. Okay. But I mean, not- I mean, what's his name? I think Stephen A. Smith or somebody said today, like, they have to suspend Michigan until they until they do the Due research. Diligence. They got to figure this thing out. So, so why, why don't we just... Because you were you, imagine you, doing that with everybody you, in this country. You get yeah. accused of something, and that's it. You're guilty until proven innocent. It's reverse. Where where uh, uh, it figures a marine in Michigan is the ones who have to stand up for the but, general basic rights all yeah. human citizens of this country <laughs> are granted. Jesus Christ! I, I, in what wor- in, in I don't what, have a response. In I, what world can you be like? Oh, we got to punish them before we do process. <laughs> Well, this isn't about laws. This is there's no laws broken. This is a competitive advantage on a field, and they got the Big Ten has to prove to its other 13 member institutions they're not letting them get fucked out there. At this point, moving forward, knowing that the signs are out there, who could possibly be getting fucked moving forward? Moving forward, no. But over so the last why three would years, you care about over that? the last three but, years, but then let's do what, what? Why would you stop it now? What does that do? You. Let due process play out. How to stop? You 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 punish the people that were uh, they were responsible. What for. What is the difference between letting due if process? If nothing was wrong with it, they wouldn't have fired why Connor wouldn't, Stallions. Why wouldn't you wait till yeah, due process? Yeah. If, if 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 nothing was wrong, why? But, did they, but we why don't did know he that. Resign? We we don't know that Connor Stallions had any connection to anybody else in the program knowing what he was doing. <laughs> what are you giving me a look for? What the fuck do you think I'm giving you a look for? You think he was just standing by Harbaugh saying things on accident? Well, no. Let, he, let me clarify, Brandon Walker. Would you let a, a low-level staffer just let, be right beside you let, at all let, times? Let, let me clarify. Okay. We. Th- this is the gray area that we live in because of the rules. Yeah. Sign stealing is gamesmanship, correct? A yeah, it's like bit, the tush push. Bit. Like they're the only ones good enough to decode the sign. Well, that is the truth. He he went he went to the naval academy to do it. But all right, sign stealing is part of the game. Mm-hmm. So Con- uh, Connor Stallions, professional code breaker, Marine Corps, he shows an infinity ability to steal signals from the other team. Gamesmanship. He's not telling Harbaugh that he's going to other sidelines. He's just like, I've broken their signals. Yeah. Here's what they're doing. And I think all of that would be admirable and awesome if it wasn't literally against the rules and explicitly no, but, against but, the rules. No, but it isn't. I, uh, I think stealing, that's the part. Sign stealing is not. Going to the other games, but who's to say... Yeah, and filming the other game, but, which but, is what we're no, worried. No, no, yeah. no, no, but let's say he's like, hey, I broke the other team's signals. I'm just watching them on TV. He's not saying that he But he didn't. Like, if he did do that then there wouldn't be a problem and we'd all be like but, yeah good but shit man. why does he have to tell harbaugh how he broke the signals why why does he have to do what why does why he, have, does to he tell- have to tell harbaugh the methods he used to break the signals if he's just telling jim hey i know their signals and obviously if he's correct harbaugh's like stand next to me harbaugh never asked what's your methodology of breaking it then that's that's lack of institutional control that you don't right. know. That, no, that's, that's why Pat got That's what, that's why, what yeah, Ohio does, State got. Yeah, exactly. Got, so got, you should know more than anyone that's else. Not, that's no. what you're, that's what you're preaching. It's no, not, no, no. Mook, what do you no, think about tattoos. all this? God bless. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to prove. <laughs> you have I need to Mook's able, thoughts. I, you, I do. You, you have to be able to prove that Harbaugh knew. I don't think it's going to be very difficult at all. Yeah. I think full body talking balls, the yeah, there's going to be pretty, yeah, I think, I think points, pretty good evidence. And I think Brandon has well, how do you, and you don't. You actually don't have to prove that Harbaugh knew at all. Harbaugh not knowing, yeah. some would argue, is worse than him knowing because he he has no – like you can't just let people do whatever it's the fuck they want. It's your job to know. Yeah. Oh it's your God, job to know. I, that, that, that is – for a single That's what got Pat Fitzgerald in Northwestern. It's well, his job to know. Well, Dave, if, you're, if your employees were out just like doing all sorts of crazy shit on behalf of the Barstool brand and you didn't know about it, that, that says that you're not locked in on... No, no. You know? No, no. There's two different That's things a, going on. Like it, 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 You guys are convoluting <laughs> programs like Ohio State where there is instru- institutional chaos and morality Free issues. Free tattoos? Right. Yes. And when our coach got caught with that, he immediately resigned, resigned. Right, immediately resigned and he tapped his chest and said, my bad. And, and Pat Fitzgerald, I should, I should myself to there was standard. hazing. This is football. This is signs. You don't go... This is what the guy's... Every coach has somebody dedicated to stealing signs. Connor Stallions was our guy. He's great at it. Harbaugh doesn't, isn't sitting down. Hey, you just, you did it. You're great. And if one of you guys out there go murder somebody in the streets, that sucks, but I don't go down for that. If it, I guess I would agree that if Nick murdered somebody, you probably wouldn't go down for correct. that. Correct. Hey, Rico. <laughs> oh, God. 
Here we go. Twelve hour stream. Yeah. I didn't invite you. I just said, hey. Yeah, that figures. What's up, Dave? <laughs> oh, what was that? Shit. Not uh, if Rico murdered somebody, you might go down for it. That's true. Yeah. 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 Well, if Rico, <laughs> murdered, if Rico <laughs> killed Big T, I, that we would have all gone down for that. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But and if Rico, if Rico off. murdered Big T, and and six months pass, and you still like, we're like, I never knew about any of this. That doesn't. That, that you're not off the hook. It doesn't matter whether you know. If you're like, I never saw the video. I never. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Like, I how, well, how that, was I that, supposed to know? That's a faulty comparison, though. That's throwing again. Let, um. Who has a job um, that uh, in a different field? Part of being a leader is knowing what. Okay, if we have a salesperson and they're bringing us great clients, like great client, great client, great client, I'm clapping. I'm like, great job, the sales guy. They have stolen somebody else's Rolodex. I don't. How would I fucking know that they stole the? I'm just psyched that they're bringing me sales leads. I'm not interrogating them how they got these leads. That's their job to do sales. Titus, yeah, but your job is to know. And then and, and if I found out, it's, it's, if I found out they were stole the Rolodex, I'd be like, "Oh, you got to go. Sorry, you're fired." But yeah. Barstool as a whole wouldn't be penalized. Titus, they, well, <laughs> Barstool is not in the NCAA, so that's true. Is, that's well, that's, that's, that's safe, safe. So the NCAA <laughs> says that you do have to know, whereas I don't think like. Well, the, that's what why, that, that is. S, that is why like the we, SEC. That is why we are fighting against the NCA because for too yeah. long they've run this monopoly that is anti. I just think uh, if monopoly, you're anti-government, anti-constitution, that's what Michigan's fighting. I against think right if now. you're a leader of an institution, uh, you, it's your job to know what everyone below you is up to. If Connor Stallions is is stealing signs, if Connor Stallions is starting a morning live YouTube show uh, every <laughs> single day, Monday through Friday, I think you as the leader should be aware of that mm. and should Mook, know that. Not talk not about it every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it. I'm just vibing. <laughs> It's like vibing to what? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Okay. So why we do? Uh, yeah. mm. <laughs> oh no. This is not oh, good. <laughs> Mook, how bad do you want this show to end? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm just gonna okay. stay in the pocket here. The, okay. uh, the caveat to that is Connor Stallions was tasked <laughs> with stealing singles. That's what he went to college for. That's what he was doing. I don't think Harbaugh is supposed to die. Like. It, it's if it plausible. happens in your program, you have to know about you it. That's your job. It. That's your job. Disagree. It's the same thing that happened to Pat Fitzgerald. It's You're the same thing. Comparing like I'm not hazing. comparing what happened. I'm comparing. He went down because he his defense was I didn't know about it. They said we don't care. It, you, they're different issues. This is no. This is a morality versus gamesmanship. Where well, one, all the coaches. Are what are your thoughts? Seal. What are your thoughts on Nate Oates? Quickly. Not a fan. Why not? Be, like how he handled uh, the Brandon Miller correct situation. Yes, mm -hmm. but he didn't really know about. No, it. but my issue would be after it all broke. Okay, how he handled it after, not before. During, I don't think he could have known before. I think. But then once you do know that there's a problem, you should step up and be a leader and say, "I should have handled that better." Yes, in that case I do. But again, you guys are are using signal stealing whereas murder. I don't know that that's apples to apples. I think that's a big gap between signal stealing and murder. I don't think we're really equating the two. Well, it sounded like he was because he asked me about he asked me about Nate Oates. Uh, all right. So how can one you not does, say that was equating? No, it's not equating. They're 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 very different. I mean, one was murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mook. <laughs> what about what about Joe Pa? What about it? Well, Mook, what, 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 yeah, I'm just... I'm hold, just on, hold on, Mook. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 your name in in, right in. Mook, don't just say a coach that had a scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I was just tossing a Nate in there. I don't... That's I fine. Got, I got no dog in this fight. <laughs> I got no dog. Is, is anyone on your side, like in sports media? I mean, all Michigan, again, it, it's very similar to the Patriots where nobody was on the Patriots side except the Patriots, but they were winning. So when you're winning, Michigan, this, has Michigan a, hasn't Michigan, won anything. You, you lost to TCU. Two Big Ten championships is it's winning nothing. something. It's we nothing. got bored winning them. We, we wanted you to have a chance. Please. We wanted to everybody, spice the rivalry everybody, back up. Everybody, you guys haven't Dave, won. The rivalry since, was dead. You guys it was haven't dead. Won it was done. Since pre COVID. It was done. That's well, not that long ago. Yes, it is. You COVID guys, is. You wouldn't Dave, play during COVID. Dave, Dave, I, play Dave I got news for you. Uh, you're not going to either after the NCAA vacates all this. None of us are going to win. You guys haven't won since 2011. We, the, what, the, the Big Ten? The, 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 the game, the rivalry, all of it. We've won the last two years. No, it isn't for now. 
<laughs> okay, this is what oh I get it. I it's it's nuts that it has shifted this quickly where Ohio State is rooting for technicalities to get out to play us. And I'm fine. That's how I We're want rooting it to for be. consistency. It and is integrity. literally integrity. It integrity. is literally the same as the Colts. We beat the fuck out of the Colts. Everyone knows it had nothing to do with the flayed footballs. We beat them so bad they ran and cried. Deja vu. Heavy as the head that wears the crown. All right. I think we could argue about this for days. Uh, <laughs> and we probably will. Yeah, for probably sure. will. Uh, y'all want to, I guess we can go ahead Do you and want the blood here. oath? What's the blood oath? When we beat you November 25th, you can never mention singles again. But if you beat us, I'll say it was all cheating. Whew. I don't think that that, exactly. th the risk reward there I, is not. Mm, exactly. Take the blood oath. They're afraid of us. The risk reward is the big bad bully is coming, and there's nothing that you can do about it. Why? Why do you need the? Why do you need the blood oath? Because I'm sick of Ohio State fans making excuses when you just were physically too small, too weak to man up and beat us. I think the risk reward is is it's your first year at Barstool. You beat Dave in a blood oath. Oh my god, <laughs> that's big. a career moment right there. Big move. You have the blood oath. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll take it if you want. I don't. I don't think move, we have. Move, stand down. Stand yeah. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Stand down, move. <laughs> <laughs> Blood oath is open for anybody who wants it. All right. We'll uh we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. That's yeah. the act. All that right. Fun. Ticket links in the chat for the Invitational. Please come out if you're in the area. See you tomorrow. Bye.